There we go. Now it's starting to actually green there. Oh, you about killed yourself there. Uh, apparently you can't die from falling damage. If I recall correctly, you can, yeah, that's, you always can't die, but then, like, at the base, has to take upgrades to not take damage. Okay. According to the thing we're on, oh wait, no, that was... Yeah, according to this, we are live. Yes, maybe if I click on it again. Hello? Yep, yep, yeah, we appear to be live. Aha! Hello, everyone! Hey, don't know how long we've been up because we we're trying to watch it and our monitors were saying it wasn't running until we refreshed. So, <laughs> hi! Hello, Joe and Eth. This is, <laughs> thanks for, you are the early riser. Um, there's only one person in the chat as of this moment. Do you want to wait for a minute to do this yeah. bit, or shall we just head straight no, into we'll, it? We'll We'll wait a little bit. Um, okay. I did find out so, something. Yeah, so, go for well, it. I actually found out. A, I, I found out a couple things actually. Um, and one of those things was that. Let me go over to equipment here. The. Mm -hmm. What's it called? I don't know. What is it called? Hang on, there's a way to make your stuff look like other stuff? <laughs> yeah, you told me that. There's like, you can skin any piece of equipment as any other piece of equipment, right? Yeah. And there it is. I, w and I would it turns out the X button. Yes. And it turns out that this thing, which is the mercenary hood, uh -huh. technically, was that, uh, like, shroud that you get. Odysseus's wife's shroud. Oh, fun. Yeah, Shroud of Penelope is this assassin hood. Cool. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. But yeah, so we'll wait a couple minutes because we only just went live and... Oh. <laughs> we're going to jump through slowly and if, and, uh, if not, if no one puts it in, then we'll just begin. How's your evening going, Jeleneth? Glad you could make it. Yes, how is the evening going? That was my Discord sound. Oh my gosh, stop making noise. Yeah. Bad phone. Yeah, that was me. That was me that sent that. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's now not, you know, in the middle of the street. Later. Thing, yes. Yeah, exactly. So do you need to get to the other side to do the, to do the dealie, or will it start automatically if you go to the other side? Yes, no, maybe. Hello, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Are you just not going to answer me now? Is that what's happening? I can hear your computer. <laughs> oh, no. As Hello? <laughs> uh, night's going pretty well, or, or, or was until Isaac suddenly vanished. <laughs> I, can, I can hear things. I can hear myself. But no Isaac. He's gone. And I don't know what happened, because all the controls are on the other end. Damn, or is it just, there's no one at all? <laughs> oh, apparently Isaac's microphone died. So I assume he's working on that because I can't see his face. But uh, so we'll just fast for a minute. Uh, something worked. <laughs> I'll try to put it back. Yips. 
Hello, Laundra. Hi. Welcome to the stream. You came at the least successful part so far. And uh, if that remain, if this remains the bottom floor for the whole stream, I'm actually okay. Because that could mean only up from here. I agree. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> it's Isaac once again. Uh, oh my gosh! I don't know why I. I know why I'm Mario actually, because we referenced that earlier. But hello. <laughs> yes. Hi everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like oh, that, that might have been. <laughs> I admit that might have been real bad. Um, well, yeah, no, that, that might have been real bad, but also just like that might just be the cue to say, well, we have, uh, looks like, three people now, so maybe we should just go. You know, uh, yeah, maybe we will just go. All right, so this is a thing um, that I found out. Uh, this is the first time that we're playing on the Xbox during the live stream. And yeah, so th that. We're doing the Xbox on the live stream, so that's actually something we should we should point out. Um, let us know if the quality is better this time, or if it dips to being worse and weird again. We're hoping that putting it on the Xbox instead of all on his computer will make things run more smoothly for you guys. So, yeah, that is the hope. <laughs> yes, Sam. Why are, don't don't voodoo all us? That's not cool, man. That's, that's not cool. Um, <laughs> so. While I was doing that, because I had to replay up to where I was on the Xbox, I found mm -hmm. out that there was a little cutscene that we missed last time. So this is that yes, first apparently. cave where you go in, All I can offer you is devotion. and we I have a civilian to here praying to the I gods. Pour. I have four hungry children and nothing else. I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. How can I repair it or sell my wares without it, without you? Remember, this is that fake god statue that the bandits yeah. were using. So, so you can then, <laughs> you can then either be what the gods do. and be I hear your prayers, or just stay silent the whole time. Which is option one, stay silent, or option two, I hear your prayer. Prayer. Determine our fates, uh, oh fates. Um, um. I can't believe my mic just. <laughs> Five seconds in, it's like, no, I'm not gonna work anymore. I need to oh, get. Oh, there a new was cord. like functioning completely just fine the whole time. Then like, I it felt like a minute or two, at least maybe even five minutes into the stream, and then it's just like, eh, and uh, no, I, I I need to get a new cord. This one is definitely dying. Um, Crapping out on you a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. All <sighs> right. So yes, one. For stay silent, or two for I hear your prayer, which I imagine we'll get the input on in just a moment. <laughs> well, when someone street, asks if you're a god, say yes. <laughs> no, you never. I don't. What is that from? I know that, that is, to say. I know it's from something, but I don't know what it's from. So at the uh, moment, it looks like it's two to in one. In all seriousness, every time I've ever encountered that in any game, we're where that's actually been the thing you do. It's like you have the option to say, are you a god? Yes, and you're not. It always, always goes badly. Every single time. Unfortunately, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I hear your prayer. We've got, we've got one vote for... Okay. Because I'm sorry, he said when, you, when someone asks if you're a god, say yes. That's saying do the thing. Oh, it's Ghostbusters. You will find uh, uh, riches at your door sooner than you expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes, now go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great oh, God. No. I will. Uh, Don't wait for fate to intervene. Well, if money is what she needs. The bandit stolen loot will do just fine. I'm all right with that. Awesome. Yeah, yes, I'm totally all right. I'm with totally that. down for that. I like that we're reinforcing that Hermes is an awesome deity because he sometimes gets uh, flack and crap from in in many representations, and including this one. Actually, now that I think about it, but <laughs> you get I mean, to meet not... some of the gods in the Atlantis DLCs, or at least. This game's version of the gods. Yeah, and uh, and Hermes is kind of a sad sack, to be completely honest. Oh, but... he's a sad sack? I mean, he's not sad, but I'm not impressed. How's that? Lame. 
Yeah, but uh, you know, again, I rarely am. I mean, he's almost never depicted as anything cool. Yeah, no, he. It, it's uh, true. I think, ironically, I think my two favorite interpretations of him, uh, neither of them being accurate in any way whatsoever. Flaming arrows! Ignore my flaming arrows. <laughs> I will not ignore your flaming arrows. That was awesome. Horse? Oh, apparently there's like a lot of things in there, but yeah, I wanted my horse. Horse? There we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> I think my two favorite are uh, Disney's Hercules because I mean that's hilarious. It's, it's he's hilarious, hilarious for sure. Yeah. He's not. He's not. He's not great. He's just like you are funny. I like you and your yeah. rose-colored glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Hermes or Jelena says Hermes is a trickster. Trickster should be awesome. I agree. Um. And and the other one is actually from Supernatural, where he's essentially a super speedster, and he still goes down yeah. like a chump because they all do in that episode. But there's reasons. So, okay. Just like she said, the cart looks pretty worse for wear. That was a cart, well, that's not cart? a bench. <laughs> <laughs> I like they were both like, oh. <laughs> looks like these new baskets were off to market, until the cart broke. This should help. Better them than the bandits. Oh, show. Okay. That just yep. makes me happy. It really does. 100% approve honest. of that side quest. Alright, and now off to what we were doing when last uh, we left off, which was going to help invade whatever that place was with the, uh, with slash for the, 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 the Spartans. <laughs> the, 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 the Spartans. Yeah. The, 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 the Spartans. Not just so any Spartans, the, 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 the Spartans. So I've done a little bit that? of work here in uh, Meg Megaris? Megaris, that's right. Megaris, that's uh, what it is, okay. But I didn't want to do too much because I didn't know how much of it would actually be story and how much wouldn't. Um, okay. So I, I do, I do so know the Peter's house is... Uh, like the final things, like that would be the end of it. You can yeah. go to that immediately, but you could also do things to make your life easier. Yeah, so we're gonna go burn some war supplies. All right, yeah. Fort Gernia. Where's Let's the see, nearest? Where's the Fajun? fastest place? I, I think this is the nearest place without being in that other city. So we're gonna go here. Can you just summon your boat like you can summon your horse? Uh, at specific locations. <laughs> Sam, I do remember. I do remember that he he did indeed steal a herd of cows almost immediately after birth. And Lodrohai makes a point. The problem with being with tricksters is they're only amusing if you're not the victim of the trick, which is true. But I, I feel like Hermes just doesn't get enough love. Was the was the main thing. <laughs> I'm a. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a fan of uh, overly sarcastic productions, and they did one on Hermes, and they tracked all like the history and stuff and some of his, his exploits. I'm like. Well, Hermes is way cooler than I thought he was. He's kind of awesome, in fact. <laughs> now, there are a lot of really cool, like, gods that are just seen as jokes in modern day that deserve better. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, I, I, One of my favorite bits of that, of, like, trumping uh, societal expectation by paying attention to the actual old stuff, was uh, in one of the in one of the Dresden books. Dresden actually gets roped into stealing some stuff from um, it was Hades', Hades vault, treasury. Right? Yeah. Okay, Which I, I mean, no matter how you slice it, not a great day. <laughs> no, no, you're stealing from a god. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, he actually meets him because, of course, things go that badly. And not going to spoil that much for anyone who might possibly be reading those books. Oh, because those spoilers matter. <clears throat> anyway, um, oh, dude, you just ran past a guard. No, I didn't. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Did he not care about you, even though he was someone you could stealth kill? Uh, I mean, I was in a restricted area, but by the time he saw me, I wasn't actually in the restricted area. <laughs> oh, so he, he was on the outer edge of the restricted area then. Is yeah, that, is exactly. Is that what's going on? 
Okay. okay. So real quick, I you. do just want to I want to show you where the Andraste is right now. It's all the way over it's here. It's you. Holy crap! <laughs> How do you even sail around to that? You don't. You don't sail around to that. You just magically You'll ported your ship. I didn't. That's I ported my hilarious. ship over here. <laughs> There's just this land bridge that is blocking everything. It's like, well, I guess like, we'll have to sail all the freaking way around. You technically um, can. You can. You can sail all the way around, and eventually we will. But not today. All right. But yeah. Um, so he gets in there, and he ends up having to speak with Hades, and Hades, he he discovers, is in on the whole thing, unbeknownst to the guy, you know, plotting all of this. And so he's like, "Yeah, just make sure it turns out right, because I mean, if not, you'd stole from my freaking treasury." Um, <laughs> But, but it's great because they have this little moment of like oh, I was expecting a whole lot of like fire, death, brimstone, evil stuff and he's like he's like I mean really pay attention to your old histories uh, it's not really what I'm like and Dresden just like sits back and thinks about it because of course he's Dresden he's read these things he's like huh yeah no I guess he just kind of I guess he just kind of always did his job like, that's it. That's all he ever does. The best part like, is is that, for Hades, the worst thing he ever does is because people do the thing he says don't do. Don't look back, and you can leave. Just don't look back, and you're free. Looks over his shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, looked, over, you looked back, dude. <laughs> you all you had to do was not look back. I told you not to do. You broke you broke into the afterlife and requested your wife back and I said sure just don't do this one thing. One you did thing. the one thing. That's the only thing you didn't have to do. Yeah, it's just so funny to me because yeah. But so I, I think that's a great example. And Jonah says yes, Jim Butcher, who's the author of the Dresden Files, does a great job, and I thoroughly oh, yeah. agree. Uh, that is my favorite uh, currently running book series. Uh, it is, is Phantasmagorico, I love it. Uh, it, it is, I don't, uh, I How don't think I've read the now? last like one he 15? published, I could be wrong, I'd have to go double check, but, what was that? How many books is that, like 15? I think it's only like 13, but I, I, the last I heard, his plan was to end it at 20, so like, he has an end game. Oh, okay. Um, so, and that's been several books slash years ago. Okay, but, admittedly, um, kidnapping I Persephone. I need to be yeah, that was one hundred percent selfish and all of that. Oh, that's a person. Hey, what's your what's up? How you doing? Is that? Oh, and you're level fourteen. Oh yeah, what level are you? Uh, I love how he's just standing like Is this chick shooting me in the face. Is that what's happening right now? Oh, okay. Now he's now he's coming out. Oh, poison. Oh, and a miss. You waited too long. Waited too long to poison. Woo! I wish I remembered how to fight better. I thought you were practicing. Uh, I <laughs> won't deny, I was supposed to practice, and then I noticed that I had a copy of Castlevania. Serious? Uh... <laughs> yes. Are you serious? I wish I remembered what the button All was! Right. I there we go, I found it. bad for your floating around right now. Because I asked you yesterday, like, hey, how are things going? I know last time you were kind of concerned because you didn't get to get a chance to do something. You're like, yeah, no, it's good. So if you die, I don't even feel bad. I mean, you could at least feel I bad feel for a little the bit audience. Bad for, I, say, I little, feel a little bit bad for the viewers, but that's it. And it's a little bit tempered by the fact that I am mocking and laughing at you really hard right now. I mean, and, and I deserve that, and I understand that. Also, wow, so I know I know you were planning to change things up a little bit with your skill choices uh, when you went through this. Did you, like, really focus on archery? Because the damage difference is insane. Yes. Yes, I did. I'm like, you're pulling thousands of points of damage with that bow, and then you pull out the swords. 100, 200, almost. It's almost like, yes, I very focused on the bow. Archery. Oh, oh, oh. Is he blocking? Oh, no. He's just... He drank no, a he potion! Was healing. He drank a potion. 
So him being on fire, will he just die automatically? Like, no? Okay. Guess it doesn't matter. He's dead now. All right. You are close to the untracked target. Um... But yeah, uh, it, it was pointed out. Uh, uh, where, where did it go? Module High pointed out that the worst thing he actually did was kidnap Persephone, and it was pointed out to me that that was actually a fairly common way to get married at the time. Yeah, but that so doesn't I, mean that it's a it, good I mean, thing. <laughs> I I mean that's actually fair. Societally yeah. <laughs> normal is not necessarily good, but yeah. it was considered maybe quasi okay at the time. Was the point, but. That's what I'm ping, 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 ping. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, that is one thing. He was actually loyal to his wife, <coughs> Zeus. Um, <laughs> who slept well, with everything. every god. Every Greek god. I mean, they're all known for it, yeah, but I mean, Zeus is obviously the big one. I mean, I yeah, the Zeus only created other... Minotaurs and Centaurs and all of that because. He was a horn dog, yeah. Yeah, the the only sometimes literally the only uh, like other deity I can think of that banged as wide a variety of things is actually Loki. Is Loki, yeah? Because I know <laughs> I had the same. But thought. he's weird. He's like got weird bestiality fetish because he had a lot of like uh this my wolf son, thing the is wolf. my son. My horse. did wasn't Odin's horse Loki's kid? I feel like it was. Uh, it was either Odin. Odin's horse with either Loki Loki's kid or Loki's mate. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, either way, I guess Loki uh, Loki's freaking weird. You fail at stabbing. It was why. I see that now. I saw. I saw that when you were passing the guard. I thought was going to totally jump you. <laughs> Don't mind me in my turning uh -huh. my assassination targets invisible and dis make them disappear. What you? So yeah, what are you here for? I see two purple things, which I assume are your actual targets. What, so, are, what are you actually trying to do? Five. Wait, wait, wait! Things. Isn't there a dude staring at you on the ledge right now, up here with you? I mean, yeah, he's that not guy staring at me, but he is here. Sorry, I I interrupted you. You were you were going to answer my question. Uh, I am here for the. F Ow. <laughs> I'm here for the five. Purple Those assassinations are brutal. They really are. There was another one. Is it just that guy? Nope. Sure not. He, he decided to come up and join me. That's what it is. Oh, hey, there's another purple stuff. Oh. Can he see me? Okay, That's the question. Can he see me up here? What? Oh, he ah, that one again. Except he's running downstairs because he... Oh, okay, I see. Nope. nope. Ah! You see nothing. You Quit attracting straight. attention, boo. Is he an elite enemy? Because he doesn't look like one. No, he is not. I love how it's like, where of elite enemies. Not this guy, though, because he doesn't he's not one. I'm gonna say you've uh, attracted attention. I'm gonna say you're right. <laughs> Spot and kick them off the wall! Ooh, ooh, that axe is sexy look sexy looking. Oh, hey, hey. Did he what? just, <laughs> you just <jumped. laughs> He's just like, nope! Nope! I'm an archer! I'm running! I'm running! I will jump off this ledge and onto a roof! Let's go! <laughs> Apparently my contract was completed. Fear of arrows. I have no idea what that is. I mean, I couldn't possibly tell you. That's right, you heavy swing that axe. Break that shield. Oh, it... I've never seen people run from you so much in an Assassin's Creed game. They're normally just on you forever. Well, apparently these have potions, so... Yeah, I know, stealth fail. You don't gotta- you don't gotta give me crap! Uh, and what did High say there? Loki's kid? I... Kinda busy. Uh, uh, the, the horse was Loki's kid. Loki had convinced the gods to hire this giant to build a wall by offering him a bride if he got it done by a certain time. He then continues, as of now, so it was up to Loki to break the deal. He turned into a mare and lured the workhorse away. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, you're building bounties. Oh! And took an arrow in the back. <sighs> That's an elite enemy. Stop running! You're all the ones running! What are you talking about? Oh, I missed. And you missed. 
I didn't miss that. I one. learned an interesting. Watching you miss his headshots actually reminds me of something. I learned an interesting statistic the other day. Oh. According according to studies, you know, barring people like trained soldiers and whatnot, um, if you are actually in a life or death stressful situation and say firing a gun, ooh, that one has a name. Yes, he does. And he's level seven. Elaxinos, the quick tempered. Oh, and Hippocletus, which means those guys are dudes you can. Uh, oh, that was awesome! Thank you. That means those guys that you can recruit for your uh, ship, right? Uh, I think if I hadn't, actually, yeah. If I really, really wanted to and wanted to deal with that, I could. You should totally get the 17th level guy because he's cool looking. Hang on. We're gonna go ahead and stealth away. You're just like, nope, we're done. Fade away. There's a Heidi. There we go, this is a Heidi. What Too many people. I, I read all of them. One, two, three, four, five. I count five lines in a word. What line did I miss? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just hiding so that your notoriety goes away? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I just I want them to stop looking for me. So I can actually stealth for more. Can't you beat the crap out of the guy and then um, ping him and make him yours? <clears throat> yeah, so so what it is is you have to beat them with melee. You have to melee them unconscious. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't really have a good melee them unconscious weapon. I only have kill them weapons. So I only have one attack that can actually knock them unconscious and they have to be weak enough for it. Great, mercenary. Awesome. Tamel the Dreamer. Well, you were at a two-stage uh, yes, notoriety thing. Yes, I'm aware of thing, what I'm at. So. <laughs> You're aware? <laughs> so is, that, is that your mercenary? No, that's... Oh, that might be, actually. No, that's your... Oh, no, the 18th level guy is your mercenary. No, I think they both are, because they both have that mercenary helmet above them. Oh, gross. Oh. Hey! I just mean, ah, ha, ha. I like that she goes under the. I mean, it makes perfect logical sense, but it's also it feels like it would be harder, even though really, I guess it wouldn't be. It'd anyway, be I like that she goes under the. Otherwise, you're going to be holding on to the flag. Yeah, but it'll like rip under your weight and stuff. Sneaking, sneaking, do it better this time. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to kill him. No, so you're going to. Oh, so just beat him up. Then run away. Ah! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Spartan, kick him off the wall. Yes. Is there no drop attack? I thought uh, you had like a jumping drop attack. Death. If I do, I don't remember how to use it. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Just you can kill the other dudes. I like the archer that is running after you, like. Less than a foot from you is like, yeah, I got you. I got this. Let's hold this bowl out. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Hippocrates is poison. I don't it's know why. Either. I don't have a poison weapon on me right now. I do believe the archer that was literally the one foot from your face shot a poison arrow at you right when you left. Right when you left. Uh, so okay. Oh, apparently that's the captain. Now we've got no way. Huh? Apparently that was the captain. Uh, well, that would make sense as to why he's the only non-mercenary dude with a name here. They, did, did the mercenary just other? kill the random mook? No, my fight! <laughs> right? He's like, no, you, that, this is my kill, you can't have him. The bounty is mine! Her, man, I'm playing a her. I know, but I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I, I prefer you guys to be closer to this wall here. Hey, yeah. Maybe you just hit him in the back. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe. I do like that. Like, I'm trying to stab the, the person. You hit me in the back, you sucker. Die. Yes, oh, you pull your cooldown from the other guys. I'm sorry, Happy Sam. Time. At the same time, at least you have a job. Oh. Yeah, that is true. I hope that this is a, a good time for you, not like 4 a.m. like it is for some people. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, like hopefully you have a night job and it's not, it's, yeah. It's not one in the morning or something, for sure. Mr. The Quick Tempered is, oh, dodgy. He seems dodgy. Um, oh, wow, he does, you do so much less damage to him. I know, it's insane. Ooh. Like, less than half, even. Okay. He's on oh. fire and either does what do you do? No, you have to get the f fire thing all the way up to the top. Right now it's about halfway. Oh, so that's not a timer. That's a he's not on fire yet, but he could be. Correct. Okay. That's neat. One more. One more. Maybe? There we go. Now he's on fire. Uh -huh. Now you should stop hitting him because uh, <laughs> you want him to you want him to be yours. I don't. I don't think I can take mercenaries as my own. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure that was like a big important point, actually. I know you can take named dudes like that, but I don't think you can specifically because he's a he's one of these. Right. Yeah. And like I said, I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments was like, "Yeah, no, you can totally get them, and they're like the only ones worth something." Oh, uh, Okay. Okay. Because it's. Does it tell you something about him? No. no. Okay. Just that he exists. Yeah. So, what's the plan? Are you just trying to weaken him more I, to make sure? I, I need or? to weaken him because this is the only. Hang on. Oh, yeah, because he was above me. Um, I only have one attack that is it the spark does pick? anything that would be able to knock him out, and that's that one. And that does nothing. I mean, you could lose him and sneak attack him again. That did a decent amount of damage, but I guess that's also a kill attack. Uh, I do know there's a sneak unconscious attack. You probably have to look that one up, though. <laughs> Although I guess I could do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could it's do that. Do something useful, gosh, check. Darren. I know, uh, why just gotta sit and watch me talk, man? What the crap? So useless. It's not like that's what we do every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you trying to say? He's trying to say I never play? What's, what's with that? Uh, actually, no. I think you're playing more than I am. Right now, actually. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't think so. Uh, 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 uh. Dang it! I can't. I can't do the Spartan uh, kick, and I can't hit him again. Hang on. Let me see if I have a weapon I can equip. Mm. Apparently, you can just straight up punch people to knock them out. Uh, okay, so if like if I like unequip something, ah, this is all this is all PlayStation. What's your equivalent for L three? <laughs> uh, L three. Oh. Uh, but it's not doing anything. That that's for the that that was the stealth. The stealth. Oh, that's one. the stealth one. Because that's what I was looking up. Because that's what I said I would look up. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So how do I <laughs> just unequip you? Do I just click on that? Ha! Ah, I just click on that. Pistikoffs! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, just, just barely. Did you, did you kill him? Oh, there you go. Recruit. A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. Just. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> right off the edge behind the you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said right off the edge behind you. Go. Oh man. But hey, I should be able to sneak everyone else now. Yeah. Maybe put a weapon back on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. On the subject of books, though, since we're talking Dresden earlier, though. Um. So I d I just finished a, a book recently. Uh, th actually, it wasn't recently, it was a couple weeks ago, but I've wanted to talk about it for ages, and I keep not doing it, so now is the perfect time. Indeed. Because, um, there's a level of stupid performed by the big bad guy that I find mildly mind-boggling, and I just want to get everyone else's thoughts, because so what okay. I'm going to do is, is tell you this story in three stages. I will tell you what he did without context. I will then tell you something about the world-building of the world, that makes it a bad idea, even more so. And then I will reveal one final factor. And I want I want you all because I want everyone to I want to make sure I'm not the only one thinking like this guy is 
a special brand of idiot. villain crazy. It's not stupid, right? So I think everybody might be dead. I mean, you did kill a bunch of them just now. I feel like not all the little dudes came after you, but maybe. I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, oh hey, there's a green glowy bits on the floor there. Can you pick them up? That feels like it's pick up a bowl. Both of us. No? That. Okay. There we go. Whatever. Um, okay, I didn't... Oh, that's why the mercenary came through and killed half the people. <laughs> Oh, right, because they were straight up murdering dudes. Uh-huh. That's funny. So there's Mercenaries, like three people great, that I know for a fact I the didn't most dangerous kill. Enemies and greatest allies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. So you had a story about a dumb villain. All Sorry, right, let's that was listen. just like, that's great. That's um, oh, yeah, look, two dudes. Um, so the guy, the the the. The book is uh, the Monster Hunter Na International series, which is, I believe, the the, the name for that genre is, uh, ow, is dark fantasy. I think it's what it's called. It's the it's the modern day, but things like, you when know, wrong magic and in the past. vampires, all so sorts oh, of stuff is okay. uh, uh, exists. So not high fantasy, dark fantasy. Got it. Dark Man, yeah, it's your, it's your uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, your Dresden Files, etc. Yeah. Um, <laughs> says, recruiting mercenaries. I'll pay you more than the bounty on my head. <laughs> Which yeah, is effective basically. if you have that kind of money, for show. Sure. And on top of that, I will pay you more for longer instead of a one-time payout. True. True. Also, I mean, I just beat the crap out of you it's so that you or don't death. die. Like... <laughs> Make your choice. This is the point of no return. Sorry. Um, musicals were sunny work today. Mm, but, uh, yeah, so in that setting. I heard of the musical as soon as you said that. Villain guy makes some flesh golems. Some, uh, essentially he makes clone super soldiers, like, in vats and stuff, right? Okay. So he's having explained to, he's coming in for a progress report from the doctor guy. It's like, yes, the... Um, it's like, how, how's the progress going? You know, training, acclimatization, making sure everything works, etc. And, uh, doctor's going, like, it's going, it's going very well. The soldiers can, uh, you know, go through all this other stuff. And to give, uh, your layman example, is like, they can outperform, it's like, you give them 10 minutes of instruction and they could outperform any gold medal, uh, Olympian in their field time and time again without fail. Um, and he has the idiocy to respond with I'm not he's like I'm not trying to what is the word um, no did you okay there we go he's like I'm not trying to rig the Olympics pauses that could be fun later though um, he's like no I'm guess, looking for that's the most soldiers important thing about what I just said right and I'm sitting here like I'm like, are you stupid? Like, that that was so much information. It's like, all right, they're incredibly intelligent and ridiculously physically adept. You can ten, spend ten minutes explaining a sport to someone who's never encountered or dealt with it before, and then At they all. can outperform Olympic gymnasts who have spent literally their entire lives perfecting Doing this only skill. this. Yeah. It's like, eh, yeah. yeah, that's not really what I'm interested in. It's like... Moron! Right. But this yeah, isn't the no, stupid that, yeah. That's not the stupid part. That's just the setup. Okay. The stupid part is they have what gone through a lot of uh, oh, okay. effort to ensure that they things Oh, it's the dogs. Yeah, it's the dogs. They've gone through a lot of effort to ensure that these things um, obey orders without question, without fail, even if even at the cost or or danger to their own life and limb. Um, uh, King Kinga Kaif, first of all, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, um, hi. Kinga Kaif asks, so how does this how does this work? Is one person in the room watching or what, and the other is playing? Uh, we're actually in different states. So yeah. Isaac is playing. I am watching via Skype, and we are 
chatting, hopefully for your enjoyment, while well, he plays through. Ah! If only... I should get the treasure and leave quietly. <laughs> if only it was so easy as... Ooh. to fight when they don't get paid. Yes. Ooh, that was a nice lot amount of draft me. Um, yeah. But yeah, how, how nice would it be to be in the oh. same building again, Taryn? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> That'd be fantastic, man. We'd have, to, we'd have to learn how to do mic stuff with more than one person in a room. But, I mean, that's okay. I'm okay to have to relearn that. That would be fantastic. Oh, I'm level 17, Taryn. Apparently I was level 16. Hey! Oh, that's why I was hearing a bear. Holy oh, cutie. Hey, I can't, bear? I don't think he I likes your torch. I can't own you yet, so I'm going to go away. Yeah, don't don't free the bear. No, there's don't there's a beast the master <laughs> that you can eventually like have a bear as your companion. Oh, which is awesome. That's all. Awesome. But I don't yeah. have that. <laughs> yeah, no. That is awesome though. That that's a cool ability. Yeah. Fresh fish from a barrel. All right, I think it's that's fresh from the barrel. everything. Oh, wait, there's one more purpley bit. Over there. Oh, is there? Am I blind? Oh, I am blind. A oh, Greek reflex move. Oh, it was in it was in that room, but we didn't do anything to it because we weren't burn burning things yet. Oh, no, you could do that. I couldn't tell you. Ready and these swish. are on fire. Oh, apparently there's Beautiful. one more treasure I'm missing too. All right. Eagle. Eagle. Um, uh, also, yeah. <laughs> Jonah says it's a bit late for quietly, Cassandra. Though I suppose leaving will be quiet since there's no one left. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They were also precisely. saying that they're that what you're describing is actually modern fantasy. Dark fantasy is like the more gritty, like classic fantasy. Yes. Yeah, I was I was getting to that. That was the next one, but. Ah. Yeah, oh, so apparently I said that wrong. I had. Um, so modern fantasy. You're, again, the one that comes to mind is Buffy because that's the one I grew up with. That show was awesome. Um, that was pretty great. Words, things, stuff. What was it? Okay. So, um, they, they made specific effort to make sure these things will obey orders against whatever influence. Oh. Mysterious later. A mysterious this world is plagued by many vile things, but the lawless are the greatest threat to our great society. They take what they want, and they kill with a blatant disregard for the honor and duty. Guys, godless people who worship nothing but themselves, purge our lands of this blight, and glory will be and glory will be yours. Also, Isaac. <laughs> what? I said, also, Isaac. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're talking about they murder and pillage with no thought of whatever. I'm like, is that a trap? Big up torch? Does it explode now? I guess it might explode if there was anybody left. <laughs> right? Like, is that what that is? That, that only functions if there's someone left to mess with it? Okay, so I think that's it. I think I've completed... Yep, it, it's gone. The symbol's gone, so... <laughs> also, when I started this, the the, the mm -hmm. symbol there, the weekend and everything, was like almost at the third bar. Doing this one thing, <laughs> and it's it took there. out like half. Yeah, more than half, yeah. Well, okay, so I guess the next question is, do, do you then head to the to the next purple thing, or straight to the leader? So, I can... I'm at very least to the leader's the house. Pillar. Should I should I just not do the Pillar of Dionysus, though? That looks like it's been pillaged or something already. It's like a broken fort. I mean, we can check it out. Uh, but I, mean, I, I will... Actually, how about this? Check your map legend. That will tell you what that is. That's a very good point. What's the button for that? There it is. That is the... That one. It is a... It is ruins. Ru oh, it's ruins. Okay, so it won't help you with this particular thing, but we can go yeah, there Yeah, so want. we'll go ahead and... We'll, let's do the, the house, and then we'll go do the leader. Well, remember, if you kill the leader, that I think that ends it. 
So you'd have know, to do so Diocles the Gambler the first if you wanted. What was that? Yeah, so I want the stuff out of the house. Right, so what I'm saying is if, if you're going to do the Gambler, you should do him first. Or are you just going to rob is his house and leave him alive the and then go do the Gambler? Gambler is that one next to it. Oh! He is the leader. Oh! Alright, never mind. Yeah. Might as well do that. I'm like, I'm okay. confused. Right. <clears throat> I misunderstood. I thought the leader's house was just where the leader was, period. Uh, Kinga, um, Kinga Kaif, thank you for thinking that, uh, thinking that we are the best variety lore channel. It's very kind. <laughs> uh, as for it. Destiny lore, I think we've done something we've done a we've done a couple pieces it might have been way back when we were just reading them straight we out i know we did at least that one all the full research and everything um but feel free to to leave a request for something you'd like to see i mean yeah is there something if there's something we're, specific we're, or anything we're, like we're that. casual fans of destiny so i mean it's something yeah. we'd be into if nothing else you're gonna turn left while. yeah i missed that last part again I'm trying to remember the last time we played Destiny. Uh, honestly, it was probably around the time when we made the Let's Plays. Probably, yeah. Uh, which is really sad. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, no, like, the new one's coming out, and I'm one of those, I'm like, oh, I actually kind of really want to play that, because I enjoy those games, like but... <laughs> which isn't true. I have more time than I think I do. I spend it doing you, other things. You definitely have more anyway. time than you say you do. But, uh... But not by much! But not by much. Whoa! Oh. Wolf's dead. He was so fluffy, I thought he was a boar. He was really fluffy. Oh, hey, this is one of those... Okay, I at least want to show this to people. So this here... What is this? Because I was going to ask. That's a portal. This is a... Uh... Homebrew story. Oh, that's right. You told me people could make stuff. Yeah, people can straight up make was... stories. And so I can't I can't look at that one cuz I'm standing on it. Um but you can walk away and then look at it. Since and apparently none others are up right now. Appearing. Okay. Hang on. Let's go back yeah, so that I, I can show He it. actually he actually told me about those and it gave me the thought of like I should totally make one that we should play on a stream sometime. But That'd be awesome. Maybe later. Hang on. Oh, it... It's not showing up now. Is it because you've opened it or because your horse is right there? Oh, oh, Story Portals is at least one of them. So, yeah. So it shows up here and it says Story by whoever. So this one's, you know, okay. And it gives you the name. And they can even write dialogue for people that you run into. It's pretty great. That's cool. Can I just do all icons? I want all icons, but okay. There you go. I would have thought you, I would have sworn you were on all icons. But I thought enough. I was on all icons too, but okay. Don't mind me. I'm absolutely not here to raid your Whoa. leader's house. <laughs> yeah, King of Kaif, we. Uh, our general goal is to try to get the entire of the the entirety of the message across in one video, so you don't have to wait. One and B sink tremendous amounts of time into it while still actually giving you all the information instead of skipping over stuff. Yeah, which is an interesting. That's why we subscribe. like. But that to, doesn't mean that's why we like to What's average that? videos at about fifteen minutes. Um, sometimes they go a yeah. little long or short, but our goal is generally about fifteen minutes so that it's nice, short, but gets everything that you need to know for the specific thing given. Which is an interesting balance to strike, and it does mean that we, you know, can't always be as flowery and prosy as you as you point out, but kind of or factual. But hey, yeah. that, that that works. It's what we. I, the I'm usually the one with play. the hardest, harder time writing shorter things. To Taryn, Taryn's gotten a lot better at that than I have. Ah, uh, you know, practice. <laughs> but uh, okay, so anyway, back to. Story of the yeah. Crazy back to your story dude. about the dude who uh, has super soldiers uh, that are amazing. Yeah, he's, he's got he's got great super soldiers. Um, 
well trained, all that jazz, and uh, they've they've worked very hard to ensure that they're loyal. And um, despite hearing that whole bit about their level of intelligence that we just went over the Olymp Olympian thing, mm -hmm. he is completely confident in the fact that they cannot, they're absolutely incapable of disobeying his orders. Okay. And that's just one by itself for me. Like, oh, so you've developed a group of super beings who are very smart, who have never disobeyed you so far, and so you assume it is impossible that they will ever. Because they've been built that way, and you okay. assume that... It, that is the classic, like, building an AI slave race, but making them <laughs> AI, exactly. except with flesh. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly it, yeah. Now, let's add something to make this worse. Unbeknownst to the vast majority of humanity, in this reality, um, you can't just make life, except for the classic biological way, mm -hmm. right? You can make a body like these clone things, but for them to have a consciousness that, that functions, something jumps into it. And most of the somethings running around are demons. Yeah. And a demon. Assumption. Yeah. And a demon can only jump into a body of sufficient power for its ness, which oh. means that. 99% of any demons you'll come across in this reality are pitiful creatures. Like, they can be upgraded and whatnot later, but, like, it's very difficult to make a genuinely potent being. But right? if you have Which super means... soldiers... Right. So he's created things that are physiologically and, you know, metaphysically, whatever... Uh, strong enough to hold demon lords and demon princes and demon generals. Yes, that body did just disintegrate, Jeleneth. Uh, I have a special ability that makes it so that when I assassinate people, they disintegrate. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'll be um, back for that in a second. Yeah, King of Kaif, we, we actually read out the whole series way back when, Oops. before Destiny 2 came out of how the story of... What was his name? He's the dude that made Thorn. Oh, yeah, we read that. That's right, that's right. And no, those were not short. That was like five, I don't know, minute episodes. Was the whole thing. But... Oh, dang it, I meant to... I wanted to kick him at the end. Oh. That's all right. You got a dude. Oh, I missed. Oh, you have the slow down for the first shot thing, too, huh? I do, yeah. That big old fat shield. <laughs> Fly! Fly away! I had noticed the disintegration in combat, but I hadn't thought anything of it. I thought it was just combat mechanics. Although it now occurs to me that other things left bodies. Well, I also leave bodies. It's only when I assassinate. Oh, hi, doggo! Oh, pooch. Oh, pooch. Don't That's be violent, good. pooch. Look at that doggo. He's a He's gorgeous. This makes me happy because he is cute. So I'm glad you didn't have to murder him. <laughs> I totally thought he was going to jump you when he came around that corner. He, yeah, Dredge he looked yes, like... He on Dredge and Yor. That's who it was. Yeah, Dredge and Yor, yeah. We read that. It's old, and I'm sure the audio quality is bad. Don't go watch. Oh, man, I'm um, sure. Not much better than, you know, this, because we can't edit this audio. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... So yes, unbeknownst to most of humanity, that's a thing that happens. Mm -hmm. Anytime you make a thing that needs, like, a quote-unquote soul to live, the only way it's doing that is if something hops into it. And okay. that can be on purpose, or it can be because you didn't do anything to block it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so was, uh, in my opinion, just reading that, it's like, oh, so this gets worse. Okay. Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Um. And especially when you add that to his old, they can't disobey thing. It's like, yeah, that's going to go great. Yeah. 
Because, of course, that's what happens, is they all are then possessed by a bunch of demon generals slash princes working together to do a thing. Okay? Mm. Above you, one level. Yep, I know. I, yeah. Oh, wow, that was a oh, great horizontal climb. Thank you. Cladrilla says, recruit the puppy! <laughs> oh, if I could recruit the puppy, I would. Alright, there we go. Hold on. Five second search. <laughs> what? And I just have to. Five second. I didn't. I know there wasn't a, an option to do it, but I'm gonna ask anyway. I'm just gonna Google search. Can you recruit look dogs? Up whether or not you can do the dog. I know you can. I know you can do the dog, um, but uh, like I know you can recruit okay. wolves and stuff, but does not allow you to tame dogs and other pets. You can't interact them in any way in order to pet them, except etc. Sad. Say it so, indeed. So you can't even, like, pet them? Apparently not. I mean, I didn't see an option for you, and it doesn't say you can, like, at all. It's just there. That's so sad. Whatever, this house is yours now, doggos. <laughs> this dog just squats in the remnants of this mansion. Yeah. Alright, well, I'd say he's sufficiently weakened, nationally speaking. Uh, favorite game. Chindikai asks what your favorite our favorite game lore is. I don't know that I have a favorite. I'm enjoying the Warhammer lore at the moment, which is why we're throwing a bunch of it out there recently. Um, yeah, one person requested. A, this, a, that's usually how it goes for our lore: is that one person requests one thing, you find out like eighty new things, and you're like, "Well, we can do this too. We can do this too." Um, well, it's like it, it's also because. There's people, it's like you, you do a lore and people then request things related to that lore most yeah. often. So. Um, That's why it shocked us, for example, when I think, what was it? I, we, did a, we did something, I don't remember if it was Halo or Zelda, but we did something for one of those. And then there was all these requests for Halo slash Zelda related junk, but not the main character for either of them, which sort of surprised us. Right, because um, that's, that's often funny. what happens is if it has a main character, it gets immediately requested. Wow. He's just... The leader of the nation is just hanging out. No, now the Athenian leader is dead, I should return to Stentor. Loot. Well, snap, dude. Megarian belt. Megarian belt. I win. Ooh, there we go. Conqueror's, Conqueror's crown. crown. That's, That's gotta be gotta cool. Be I cool. mean, it's lower level than the last thing you got, but it's gotta be cool. What are you doing? Oh, you're looking at your quest. Okay. Yeah, I was. But yes, back to the story. Like Jelena said, cue the demon invasion, because that's, of course, what they do. Ooh, neat. Oh, nice. Move I don't know. speed while crouching goes up. That's cool. Hold on. You have that 16 helmet there. Yeah, it just increases assassin's damage in my armor. Okay. So... Good. But that, so that's actually probably overall better then? Because of the movement and the increase on, uh, I think it's daggers, or is it swords? Yeah, it was daggers and swords and assassination damage. Yeah, so just all in all, yeah, due nice. to the damage, oh. I'll take this one for sure. Anyway, demon. Built of well, Hold on, let's have a look at these. Anything cool? This is a lot more that's armor, but it's just bonus to Athenian soldiers. <laughs> I love that it's specifically versus Athenian soldiers on both belts. I'm going to go ahead and do this one, though, because I get the same bonus to damage, but this one's on hunter damage, which I use more anyway. Oh, which is your shebang. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, continue with yeah, the story. Yeah, so cue the, the demon invasion. Um, and uh, so the end of the book you find out that this guy in charge actually knew that that was a possibility. He didn't know it was a really? certainty, but he knew it was a possibility. And their, their R&D people were thinking, all right, there's like a 50-50 shot that we make one of these, it gets possessed by a demon. Okay. And he's like, yeah, it's a deceptive risk, cool, do it. Jackal. <laughs> and I'm just like, so you in know this is a thing. Yeah, it's got a fifty-fifty chance. And you're like, ah, it'll be fine. 
They can't disobey us. It's totally cool. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain it to anyone that that went badly. But I would just like to point out that it went so badly. It was monolithically horrible. Like, oh my gosh. Monolithically horrible. So I it will say, bad. I agree with you. I think that it absolutely was an idiotic thing. Uh, and I would assume our viewers do too. Fortune but control. that's probably not I don't it. know. Uh, that amuses me. This would be the Odyssey one. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I must report to Stentor. The Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> Is there actually a Pokemon called Stentor? No, but it certainly sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah, no, and now that you've said it, I can't unhear it as a Pokemon name, so yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Everyone run! The Psycho's running through the middle of the street! You know it! Numerous snacks discovered. Edonos, the charging bull. Who was the only person who did not run away from you on your horse? He was, like, the only person who did not run away. Um, I realized I don't think I actually said what my favorite lore is. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, I have an answer, but yes, please, if you have one. Like, that we've done, I think, anything with Castlevania so far has been really awesome. I really enjoyed that. How about outside of our show stuff, just, like, games you Just stuff that I enjoy. For. Um... If you actually sit down and read it, the the stuff for um, <coughs> Skyrim and stuff, the entire Morrowind series, has really cool lore if you spend the time to go read it. It's just a lot okay. of books, and you have to go find them. <laughs> so thinking about it, I think mine is probably um, Dragon Age, because I'm Dragon a Dragon Age, Age fan. Cool. All right, no, I, also, I also like Kingdom Hearts and the stuff with that, but there's not any extra, like, outside of the game lore. Basically, the entire lore oh, right, is but it something It doesn't have true. to be outside of the game lore. It's like, basically, you know, who has the coolest world building that you like? Yeah. I hear good and Assassin's Creed is actually up there. I like what they've done. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. As you can tell good. by the crown I'm wearing that you the can't see. The wolf has yeah. ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. Ah. All right. One, I am honored to be here. Two, let's kill some Athenians. Yeah. Uh, we... King, King and Knife says, I thought you guys must have been Darksiders fanatics, considering that's how I discovered you and have a lot of videos on it. Uh, we definitely enjoy Darksiders. For sure. Um, I guess... I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe just because <laughs> we've done, done so like, many on it. <laughs> <all of> it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would, I, I would, uh, and I don't mean this in like a braggadocious way or, or in like that. I would consider myself a dark Siders expert at this point. Yeah. Uh, no, he, and I do enjoy the lore. I love the games. That's just it. Great so world. Dark Siders lore. I have many questions. Dark Siders lore is very awesome. I still very much enjoy it. I'm not saying. Like, it's not one of my top ones. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely know a lot of it. And I guess... I don't know why that... Makes it not come to my mind, but... I think for uh, me, yeah. it's it's largely the past. Because we've got, like, one... Requested lore thing left for the series. Which is to do one on war. Which we're waiting to do until after Genesis. Yeah. But then after that, like, we've done... Every other... We've done pretty much every Darksiders request that we've had. And, well, and, that, and the, the reason the, the game the you, series is essentially it, tapped from a lawyer perspective. So I, it, for, in my head, it's lot, that's filed under like done. So I didn't yeah. think about it. So and, and it's not uncommon, King of Kaif, that Dark Siders the reasons Dark Siders is the reason that you found us. Like we made one far and away the lore series far yeah. and away. We we made one and then we got it exploded. And then we had all the requests, and so yeah, we've just done a ton of them. Yeah. Um. No, not at all gameplay expert. Have you watched our Let's Plays? No, we are not gameplay <laughs> expert on Darksiders. 
We have played them all, so you can you can see for yourself. Uh, Isaac does get better and better and better, but yeah, no, no, not um, at all. No. Uh, and due to nobody commenting, I guess I'm gonna choose. Um, that went, no, well, here we'll we'll just give him one more thing in case we got swallowed up in other stuff. Uh, okay. Number one, are we honored to be here? Or number two, shall we kill some Athenians? Let's kill. Actually, some I guess Athenians. maybe the reason no one's voting is because we're going either way. Yeah, well, I mean, you, we are going either way. We also have a bit of a smaller uh, viewer pool this week, so that's all right. It's just fine. Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah, no, we. We try to be good. We try not to die all the time, and when we do, we cut it so you don't have to watch the extra half hour of deaths that sometimes <laughs> occurs. But uh, experts, no, that's not so much. No, uh, yeah, we know the lore pretty well. Uh, Taryn definitely knows it, like inside and out. Um, Wait, but when it comes to the gameplay, tra traversal is still uh, death, Spain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Lodra High says one. I am honored to be here. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We okay. I'm glad he's ended, the end, ended that sentence well. Wolf. Come, we right. must reach the forward camp. There's a forward camp. Well, I I'm ready. We're gonna just go ready. do that now. Follow me. Bing. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So. Tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong. Caring. You're very familiar with the Forge Lands. Yes? <laughs> no. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense the sadness there. He... Well, considering you do know he, he his first children died, duh, right? Duh. Cannot be lived without some regrets. I'd love that. It that is one know, thing. I'm me. probably more familiar with the Forgelands than any other place. I only uh, played number two up to the Deadlands, and then I stopped for some reason. I think we talked about that in the game, but yeah. So I never actually Whereas played I, the rest of that. I think I've officially beaten both games. So let's see. I beat. The first one at least three times, wow. including the one we streamed. All right. Oh, while you're doing... Oh, okay. It's right there. Never mind. I'm like, can, yeah. can we see if you get on a horse if he does? Because if we're going to walk all the way there, it's ridiculous. Uh, it would be like any other battle I've been a part of. And then the second one I've beaten at least four times, including the one we streamed. And then I've now wow. beaten the third one at least... I think once and almost twice now, because I had to go and beat it <laughs> you had to go beat it again Are yeah. You ready to crush the Athenians? yep I just walked here with you Ooh, oh. conquest battle once the nation power is low a conquest battle becomes available both, uh, both Athens and Sparta reward epic gear for conquest battles defending a nation is easier but provides less rewards attacking a nation is harder but provides more rewards more rewards. And you're attacking. To battle! To battle! For war. John says I blame Nightmare for being very familiar. Uh, yeah, cause that's right. That's I right. I forgot you were you were the one that told us about all your nightmare shenanigans. For those not familiar, in nightmare mode in Darksiders 2, if you die, as soon as you die, you have to start the game over. It's your dead, your dead. Yeah! Darksiders edition. Um... I'm trying to think. I know Just I know. played Nightmare, but I I don't even think I technically beat War. Like the fake War. I mean, that's just... Just no. It's ridiculous. But do you have objectives, or are you just straight up murdering people? I think I'm just straight up... That bar at the top needs to be on my side. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Beat the crap out of some things. Oh, there we go. Kill the enemy captain. I gotta kill the enemy captain. Enemy. It's an enemy. Enemy. It's an enemy. An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. Okay, don't. Don't. That is so cool. I love being an archer. It's so good. I was about to say, I was like, look, you're remembering how to play a little bit even. Okay. I am. 
Yo! Is his name Triton? Triton? It is, it's Triton. Go away, you, you false god of the sea. Like yeah. <laughs> that, Poseidon exactly. is the oh, god of the sea. Oh, that's a big sea. red dude. What? I said, oh, that's a big red dude. I want to say, I want to say Triton is actually in Greek mythology. I think he's one of Poseidon's sons. I could be wrong. I, I thought I Triton was that the up. god of, was a different god of the sea. I could be wrong. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know. It's been a while. He's in, oh, that's a big dude. He's an idiot king in a Disney movie. That's most of what I know about him. <laughs> Straight up stupid. Hard-headed, round goofball. It's okay, Taren. It's okay. <laughs> he is. He's just straight up. He's so dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he's not dumb, but I mean, he has his reasons. His wife did kind of die because of humans. The the level of just hard-headed. Hard-headed stupidity is the most annoying kind of stupidity to me. It's the one I, I like you're. I feel like you're remembering you're, you're, the uh, Kingdom Hearts Triton more than you are the movie one. <laughs> that is entirely possible. I haven't the one seen in the... Little Mermaid in I don't even know how long. Yeah, no, the one in Kingdom Hearts is pretty like I'm going to destroy this you. thing because stupid. Uh, what is it? The uh, there's the a king, captain behind he was, you. He was uh, behind. You. Yes. Oh, there you, there you go. Um, but yeah, because he's like so against the Keyblade wielder because, yes, you bring darkness and blah blah blah, so I'm going to destroy this thing you need so you don't leave my planet for some reason. Ever. It's like, yeah, that's the smart move. <laughs> it's like, that makes what one of my, uh, that actually reminds me of one of my boss's favorite sayings. Yeah, it makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. That is, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> I like the little shine I get every time I uh, kill a captain. It's cute. You're like, oh, I'm awesome. But yeah, now, now that you're saying that, I probably am thinking of Kingdom Hearts Triton. Yeah. Because Kingdom Hearts Triton, for sure, super stupid. And really hard-headed. The one in the movie thick, just dick. doesn't want his daughter to go up to the surface where, you know, the people who killed his wife are. Yeah. But that's possible. Go, Icarus. I'd have, to, I'd, have to, uh, I'd have to go rewatch it, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah and I plan on rewatching all of the Disney princess movies so that we can properly rank all of the uh, princes. Uh, especially since we decided to get a subscription. There was a special thing on, for the Disney thing. The new Disney... Disney XD or whatever it's called? Yeah. There was a thing available that you could buy three years worth at a super stupid cheap price, and we did. Okay. So we have three years of it. Once I may have to steal the code for that at some point for certain things. That's fine, we um. use your Funimation. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh, Winner! Hey! Sparta has successfully defeated Athens. Megadus will now side with Sparta. And now I have a... a level class. 15 Spartage. And now what, sorry? I said, and now I have a cool axe. Yeah. You killed 13 normal mooks and 3 capitans. The wolf requests the presence why, of the mercenary. Why don't you have a shirt? We shall be up to him in a moment. Because he's a we Spartan were just light fighting. soldier. Respect. He wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes. I heard what you said. I just <laughs> don't understand why. It's not my decision, his dude. Order, sir. But don't look at me, man. I'm a runner. Very well. Right? That was some anger right there. Yeah, it was. Uh, I believe it's in the second movie, Loader High. I have other matters to attend to. 
<laughs> what a way to say that. Right. I'm like, Ooh. I'm also only like 90% certain about that. I could be very wrong. I do have a vague recollection that, like, he felt wronged by humans. I just don't remember why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do think, like, and I'm in assuming the... you were right because, again, I apparently haven't seen it ever. I don't think it's ever mentioned in the first movie. I think it's in the sequel, where Ariel has a, do a daughter. Um, I think it's confirmed. Yeah, she then has a daughter. That... In the sequel. Yeah, I, I think it's confirmed yeah. then that Triton's Mother! wife was killed by humans. Sarah's looking questioningly into the uh, into the corner. <laughs> She's googling. <laughs> so you are the Is this the same cliff? It looks similarly cliffy. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Are we gonna Sparta kick him off? It's been a long time. Ooh, I don't even get the <laughs> choice to say you. that. I saw you fall. I didn't yeah. fall. Yeah, I did. You fucking threw me to my death. <laughs> oh! oh! What was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You were my father. You, 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 need, you need to make to peace with the fact that me. I threw you off you a cliff. <laughs> right? You forced my hand. I was protecting my brother because you wouldn't. The Oracle decreed that Alexios had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty Enough! anymore. I'm here to kill you, old man. <laughs> right? I mean, that possibility definitely feels like I can't it's there. The past. <laughs> also, Jelenith, I just didn't feel like going down the path. I feel like dead. the cloth would be faster, and I think <laughs> I, I still think I'm right. Uh, I would say There's so. A yes. Large reward for the mercenary that can collect the wolf's head. Oh, that's right. You're, that's literally why yeah, you're here. That's like of. that. Like I said, that's literally why I'm here. <laughs> oh, all right, fates. It, one. it is literally that. She's of two minds before getting right. here. <clears throat> all right, one. I've come to take my revenge, or two. I've come to get answers. And while we wait that's for that, let's go. Un will straight up kill him. So yes, one kill him, or two maybe don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Also, here in the Dick, in the Disney wiki, um, unfortunately, she died, Queen Athena, uh, the wife of Triton. Unfortunately, she died as a result of a run-in with a big pirate ship when Ariel was very young, fueling Triton's hatred ah. of humans of humans as a result. Well, you should really be hating his pirates. <laughs> he should have a beef with Captain Jack Sparrow. No, no, no! Apparently, there's a fan theory that she should ha that he should have an issue with Captain Hook. Oh, I. <laughs> in, in the second movie How's about that? Ariel, we find out that a malicious pirate killed a killed Athena, so we can assume that Captain Hook killed Ariel's mother. I'm sure there's more to that, but the thing is, just uh, the, it, I just got shown the quick uh, snippet. Tell you what, I oh, can wow, think two of a from everyone. Reason. Let's see, okay. uh, two. Yep. I'll bet it doesn't include him, but alright, I've come to get answers. Because information is always the best answer. You've avoided Acquire the past long enough. Now you will answer to me. <laughs> like, it looks like I'm still going to kill them. I do like his face of like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I really hope that I can still kill him too, but... We'll see. You Maybe you won't want to death. later. Who knows? There is no honor in vengeance. Oh. You must face the ghosts of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. Because I'm, I'm a mob boss. I do worse than death. That's my thing. <laughs> I fail to protect you. To protect both of you. Also, where's the Oracle? I loved you. Yes, Lord Rai. More info. Always more info. I you were truly my own. But you are never mine. Oh? What? Are we legitimately children of Zeus? <laughs> that is a question. You should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her. What do you mean, find her? 
Thank you for asking that question. She knows far more than I do. What do you mean, wherever? Why don't you know where she is? Where will you go? To find my honor. Wow. So either way, it looks like he's out of the fight. You wear the snakes in the grass. Yeah. You just Looks take like your he deuces hat. out. Wow. That, should, that felt really good. I am I agree. really happy with that. I can't imagine how you would have come across that. any of that information without... Yeah, ooh. Yeah. I, I can't I imagine how you would have come across any of that information without uh, not killing him. Right? Let's see. The hat. Oh, no. It's a sword! Whoa! Plus 20% damage on the Sparta Kick ability? Heck yeah. This is Sparta! And I have an ability point. Um, yeah, you'll see this is the archery tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where you focused. Yeah. Where's the animal one? The animal one. Oh, they get to learn, get to... They the, the run get times to, with animals. Yeah. Is that maybe under the bird? Where? Bottom left, the bird, two out of three. Oh, this? No, that's that's specifically Icarus. Oh, oh here it is. Aha. Beast Buster. Now I can upgrade to lions, lions or Lincolns. Lynxes. Lynx. 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 <laughs> All right, have a good night, King Kaif. King of Kaif. Oh, good gosh, yes, go to sleep. Ugh. And next level, I get bears. <laughs> Loader that says, given how many of us found you via lore videos, was there really a chance we'd vote against more info? I appreciate the sentiment, I really I do. I mean, yeah, yes, actually, I'm that's a very good point. <laughs> that is literally always my personal choice with gaming. This option or the... Any other option, or the option that gives you more information. More information, please. There's a saying, knowledge is power. I need to go to the address. It is a thing. Andrastia. Whatever it is. Andrastia. I love that you keep calling it Andraste. That makes my day. <laughs> what is that? Tell me what that is. And Andraste is a... Uh, the. She's a deific figure from Dragon Age. Oh, that's right. She's the, the the mortal bride of the maker, the god. She's the one that, and you know her name more because she's the one that everyone curses with. So it's like, yeah, like ah, oh, Andraste's gonna be knickers, you know? Yeah, Andraste's name. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm here. Why am I here? Yes, I know. Uh, Subsidy Harbor gives you the opportunity to call your ship oh, when talk you are to on Barnabas. ground in a ship. Ah. Barney! Yo! So, Old man guy. Did you kill your father? <laughs> I guess I will you address that father. You That's a question. For a step patricide. <laughs> Nikolaus raised me. Trained me. He was my father. Even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. All right. Oh, okay. One, thank so, you for your thanks for your concern. Two, mind your own business. <laughs> Got to do that sassy <laughs> head thing. <laughs> mind your own business. Uh, but the the being back here on the sea actually reminds me what I was going to say. If if Captain Hook did end up killing Triton's wife. Can you imagine mm -hmm. a better reason that he now lives forever in Neverland? The god of the Where sea is, is pissed at me. <laughs> There's no other right? sea I can sail in. <laughs> like, I'm a pirate by trade. The sea is my thing. I got. I can't hang out on land, but I literally cannot be in the ocean anymore. <laughs> right. Somewhere else. The I'll king of the seven the seas who has a magic sky. spear that can control water is pissed at me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I killed the wife of a sea demigod, and I'm a pirate. People are just like, oh, you, you're screwed, man. 
<laughs> and it was know. at this point he knew he messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, never have truer words been spoken. You just, you, you know how uh, <laughs> Ursula becomes all giant and stuff? Um, yep. It's just, it's that, but it's Triton coming right up on Hook's ship. It's right up there with, uh, not going to say which movie this is from. There's enough Pokemon movies I can say this without spoiling it for anyone. But there's a moment uh, in a thing that Isaac and I saw and talked about recently where uh, this really powerful Pokemon gets his powers janked and somebody uses it to do a thing. And it takes a lot of time and effort to do a little bit. And when that Pokemon is freed, he comes back to himself and is like, oh, yeah, finger snap, fixed all of it. It's like, oh, Somebody did not know how to use the... like The difference in knowing how to use their abilities here is uh, intense. So point is that Ursula was the person controlling the Pokemon yeah. and Triton is the Pokemon? Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Once again, guys, uh, your choice, unless you guys don't want to be doing that anymore. If you guys don't um, want to pick, just let us know so we stop getting paused here. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to make you wait forever while we chat. But, uh, so one, thank you for your concern, or two, mind your own damn business. I am, I am, I'm a grumpy old man. Get off my lawn. I think the greatest get off my lawn scene ever has to be from Gran Torino. I... Have you ever seen Gran Torino? I, I don't think I have a reference for that now. Grand Torino is one of those movies where it's like, I, 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 I'm not sure if I can call it good because it's one of those super depressing kind of endings, but it's very, it is a very good movie. It's got some pretty decent messages in it and, and overall so things go, go better for thanks for your most concerns. of the cast. What? I, I said, I'm going to go what? ahead and click. Thanks for your concern. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. I will continue I'm after. Glad to have you around. Yeah. One of us. I'm happy to be here. Let's not, let's not alienate Anything our captain. Help. Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nicolaus. I don't know why this is so. a surprise. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, I literally have no this. idea. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money and an explanation. I, Cassandra, Does he owe you money? And let's seek right. the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. Oh. <laughs> the Oracle right. is a menace. Number, number one. No. Just... Okay. The Oracle is a menace, number one. Or number two, I can't read it. <laughs> I'll consider seeing the Oracle. Okay. Anyway, Sorry, so Skype chose moving. that moment to be Skype. Ah. <laughs> uh, so the movie you were describing. Um, there's a the the main character is played by uh, uh, what's his name? He's famous for westerns. Old. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, John Wayne. He plays an old Vietnam. He plays an old like Vietnam or Korea vet. I can't remember which. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, oh, the I, one with, like, the oh. gangs? Yeah, there's gangs in it. Neighborhood? Mm hmm Okay. It's, like, he lives in the middle of a bunch of Asians, and... Um, and he straight up, like, anyway, comes out with so, a shotgun. <laughs> not a shotgun! I, I don't know what wars were like back then, but for whatever reason, he has his old rifle, like, from the war. Oh. So this is a machine gun, like an old, you know, 19... 50s, 60s machine gun. Um, <laughs> and these gangsters have this fight that spills out onto his lawn, and he literally walks up with the machine gun and is like, Get off my lawn. <laughs> Dang. And, uh, hold on. Let me check the. Uh, I want to make sure. Uh, do we my, still have people? <clears throat> I say, my, uh, uh, my, my viewer of, of the stream is frozen up. Let's make sure everyone's actually still here. Um, yeah, it says there's only me, I think. I refreshed and left. Oh, now I'm back. Um, let us know if you're out there, guys. 
Guys, guys. Try and figure what's going on. Guys and gals, gals and guys. Apparently, if you're dudette. looking at the thing, it says there's six people watching, but... Yeah. I don't know, I can't... Oh, there it is. I can't view the control room anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm in the, con uh, the control room. So it says stuff's working? Yeah, it says stuff's working. It says it's good, hey, well, you even, do like it's been good well, since... You do the beginning. Do me a quick favor and just type like a hello into the chat. Maybe the chat itself is having issues. Maybe. Hello. Okay, I got that. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we'll we'll just continue playing, I guess. <laughs> uh, speak up if you feel like it or can. Yeah. Let us know. Uh, we'll let's go, see. Should we go with neutral options since they can't really? Yeah, I'll consider choose? seeing the oracle. Mm, I'll think about it. Good. Ah, so this is the same way. The queens travel to Fokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that. Yes, I know. That's enough oracle talk for now. I may have a personal beef. Back to business. <laughs> you know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose. His home is in Pilgrim's Land. Oh, Jelaneth says, sorry, I got pulled away for a bit. That's fine. We were just, uh, we were just worried all of a sudden that uh, the chat the itself chat had died. died. It, <laughs> so. extra preparations. El Pinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, oh these are the snakes Cassandra, in the ground. In all the um, excitement, I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house plague struck. It was barely standing to begin with. Yep, plague struck. I Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across yep. the island. Yep. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem got the to kids be a cure. Many have died. Alaka. That priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks, Vernavas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. No, it's fine, everyone. We just wanted to make sure that you don't, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure you weren't missing it or like trying to interact and unable to. You know. Yeah, that that, that was our biggest worry is that you couldn't communicate, not that you weren't available. To do so. nice to see you, are, are we heading back to Kefalonia then? Is that where we're going? I mean, I'd like to, but I guess technically we should leave that up to since you guys are here. Uh, <laughs> well, no. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna we're gonna head back to Kefalonia, and um, so Lauderhai asks, uh, "What's currently going on? What's the last thing you saw?" And we will update it from there. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, uh, just head to Kefalonia, and we'll figure out where. Should to go we just there. fast travel there, or sail? Oh, uh, I mean, we we can either fast travel or travel like on a boat and let them decide on the way. Yeah, we'll. That's it. But, we'll, we'll sail and let them decide. On the way. Oh, yay! Uh, but yeah, so let us let us know where what the last thing you saw was and or remember, and we will update you on what happened from there. Oh that yeah, and real quick, shark? happy national. Whale? No, that was a giant whale. Um, I can stop and turn around. Uh, happy National Taco Day, everyone. I was also told, according to the radio this morning, that it's National uh, Dad Joke Day. National Taco Day and National Hot do uh, ta Taco Day, huh? No, no, no. Not, not hot dog. Taco. Dad, dad joke. Dad joke and taco. Yep. Oh, okay. All the way back to Nicholas. Okay. All right, turn. So uh, we we decided to spare. Oh, okay, we decided to uh, spare him. He talked about you know feeling a little bit bad. She talked about he should, um, and then uh, it was revealed that he is not in fact their dad, but was a stepfather. Is a stepfather. And he's like, well, so who's my real dad? He's like, well, you should probably talk to your mom. Okay, yeah, go find her. What do you mean go find her? And I, we all had the. All three of us had the same reaction. <laughs> yep. Isaac, I, and Cassandra were going, what? What do you mean, go find her? You don't know where she is? And he was just like, uh, go, go find her. I don't... 
she, wherever she is, she will know more than I do. And you're like, why don't you know? Well, she didn't answer, but he just, uh, and then he, and he left, and she's like, where are you going? And he said, I'm off to go find my honor again. Which means that he's out of the, he's out of the war, but he's not dead, so... Are we still so going to get paid is the question right now. Yeah, that was a great bit. It's like, all right, we're going to go back to the guy that hired me because he owes me money and, a, and an explanation. And I was going to like, does he owe you money, though? Like, does he? I mean, you didn't kill like, the guy. You didn't kill the guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, on the subject of the uh, dad joke day, the radio also possessed one, which was kind of great. So, Isaac... And or the audience, faster. Could be Isaac. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what time in the morning do ducks get up? Uh, six o'clock in the morning. I don't know. At the quack of dawn. Ah, uh, the quack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I had I. A whole bunch of us came into work early to do a bunch of stuff, and I, that's that's playing at like 8 in the morning, and I just died laughing. That's awesome. I yeah. thought that was the funniest freaking thing. Well, so Taco Bell oh, yes, had a yes, special... Your, that's right, you get your quick guy on boarding parties. Correct. Look at um, him go. But so I, uh, Taco Bell had a special thing that uh, they did today, which was four tacos... Um, for five dollars, so like four hard shell tacos for five bucks. I don't know how that and compares that, to the normal prices, but okay. Uh, normally, like a taco is like two bucks, dollar seventy-five. Oh, okay, so it's actually a pretty decent deal. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean. Um, and uh, Sarah and I have been. We're very big fans of Taco Bell. Uh, okay. Wait, what? I said okay. I didn't. I didn't actually know that. Okay. No, we we love Taco Bell. Um, this coming from two going? people who don't drink at all, so we're always sober when we go there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which apparently is not a normal thing. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I broke Taryn. Sorry, that, um, that slew me. All right. <clears throat> yeah, no, I... Uh, but, yeah, tacos... The Taco Bell's great. It tastes great. Especially, get anything with steak instead. Oh, so good. <laughs> Their um, steak, I don't know what quick. it is. Go ahead. Well, I mean, steak is well done. It, I don't mean well done, like, cooking done temperature, well. just as opposed to poorly done. Yeah, uh, it's actually pretty decent. I I generally don't like getting steak from Mexican style places because it tends to just be chew, uh, cubed up, overcooked stuff. So, well, that's just, so these are all, not cubes; it's these all are slices. Just really chewy. No, these are slices, yeah. and they're like butter. It's really good. Um, <laughs> I don't like them. I also, for like the uh, first uh, time ever, cooked a perfect quick, steak Zick. for both Sarah and I. I I'm going to interrupt okay. you real quick so that you can tell this conversation while we wait for an answer. Um, also, forgot to mention, in the in the catching up, you guys up of stuff that happened, um, it was discovered that we were right, and a plague broke out back on where we came from. So we're currently heading back there to see, you know, what the situation is. But if you guys would rather we proceed on to the main story immediately, we can do that, or whatever else. So let us know. Yeah. Isaac, you cook the steak. Yeah, let, let us know what you want. Um, but so we cooked a steak and I was using a recipe from tasty and it was just, it was perfect. It was, it wasn't chewy. It wasn't overly chewy. It tasted good and it just had the perfect texture. And I'm like, Oh, this is what everyone's talking about when they say steak is amazing. Um, yeah. And it was the first time for me. No, I had a similar um, experience because I've only very recently started liking steak because, like, like you, I've always been like, everyone's always like, oh, steak's amazing. It's the best. I'm like, I really don't like steak, if I'm to be honest. Yeah, it's like um, so chewy and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I finally had some um, 
a while back, and it was. I always, I would always get him like well because I'm like, I don't want raw meat. That's not, no, that's no bueno. Um, awesome. But so thank I, you guys. I, we, we, we are already some... here, but thank you for confirming that. <laughs> yes. So. Um. Uh. Are there any actual quests? Let's see. If you head to your house, we've got to find. Oh, I'll, I'll head care. to the wine, the winery. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll work. You notice how it's like smoky here? Like the plague is an actual mist in the air. Right. It's just legitimately gotten bad. We're talking like sci-fi plague Silent score Hill cloud type thing. <laughs> oh, that happens. That's fine. Does that give you like a crime thing or something? I don't think so. Oh, there you go. There we go. Um, I'm just saying. I'm saying something. I literally don't. I don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, steak. Uh, steak um, yeah. I also did not like steak at all, and I, I tried it a little ways down, and so and it was actually pretty decent. And so I've tried some different things that are not all you know sear it to death kind of stuff and actually yeah. yeah like you like if they're well cooked and it's got that soft tenderness to it and whatnot it's like oh this is actually oh, yeah there was a recipe uh, you cook the steak in the oven at like 2 225 for um i think it's like 45 minutes and then you sear it so that it gets the nice crisp on the outside and it's like perfectly cooked. Huh. That's interesting. I'm not seeing anyone here. Yeah. Marcos. Uh, hello? People? Oh, yeah, that's What's another that thing. Hang on, real quick. This is another thing that I spent way too long going and doing while, uh, Catching up to where I was. What? You found the obsidian eye! <laughs> I you, went in and I murdered all, goats. all the goats and I found the Cyclops' eye. And along with it comes. There it is. This. The obsidian eye fragment. This is really just okay. there as a. Hey, cool, you went and got it, so you can go ahead and sell this one for money. Oh, okay, okay. Stent. Oh. And then, dual sum. I guess that's going to be the quote-unquote proof that I killed him. Um... <laughs> Okay, okay, I can, I can see that. If he actually disappears from the war and take his helmet, it's like, sure, obviously, he must be dead. And no, Laud, it is 4T5. 4 5 um, minutes in the oven at 225. Oh, I, I, heard I hope I washed well, that eye, too. Oh. What, Terry? <laughs> uh, um, I said I actually heard 45 as well, so I was like, oh, wow. No, 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 it is 4T5. 4 5. So not 4 dash 5. So 4 or 5 minutes. It's 45 minutes? Yes. At 225 okay. degrees. That's a, that's a long cook. It was a very long cook. <laughs> Okay. Phoebe! That's her name. Okay, so Phoebe. Phoebe! Where are you? There we go. Where is my house? Your house was, I want to say, on the left side-ish. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah, is that it? Uh. Yes, that's it. That picture was in the way. Yeah, there were many, many goats murdered. Vamos, let's go. 
Phobos. I just wonder, where are all the dead people? Well, I guess, where are all of the people that are important to me? Uh, okay, so apparently Phoebe's not there. She left. <clears throat> oh, she deuced out. Yeah, she deuced out. Awesome. So she's not dead yet. <clears throat> um, I don't really care about the other guy, but I can look him up. What was his name? Uh, Marcos. Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. Mostly, I don't mostly care. I'm wondering, is there any reason to be here? Because he said you can come back, I, but I'm not seeing But he's like, you can come back and find out that they're all gone. <clears throat> Nobody exists. Ye. Recommended level 28. Nice. Maybe that's it? No, that's the legacy of the first blade. Oh. World, character, bounties. Contract. I don't know. Time for a ride. I guess. So, shall we head forward on the main quest or do side yeah, quests? Yeah, I Probably main quest. guess so. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Lodrell High, John Lineth. Um, should we continue on the main quest or should we do some side quests? Yes, let us know. Ah, so this sounds to me like uh, you and Lodrell High like very different stakes. Sounds like you like a well steak. I assume it's well by that point. I mean, it's got to be well by then, right? It is way through. pink in the middle. Like, parts of it were still red. At 225 for almost At an 225 hour? At 225 for almost an hour, it was still, only, it was still like, almost red in some places. What the balls? Yeah? I feel like your oven doesn't work. <laughs> hey, this is a tasty recipe that I was following to the letter. Like they said, put it at 225 for 45 to 50 minutes. Until until the internal is. temperature <laughs> until the internal temperature was um 120 125. Yeah. What? Okay. Well, the, re the, the reason I bring that up is Lodrai has this brilliant description here of uh but she says that sounds like it's way too long, and then says, "But about the perfect description for cooking a steak I ever heard was, show the steak the oven, let it scream in terror, and then bring it here." <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, um, no, it didn't start with the frozen. It was fresh. It was like at most right out of the fridge, but it was, you know, normal that room temperature so by the time I started. All right, let's head for Athens. Or yep. wherever Elpenor is. It was Athens, right? I feel like it was Athens. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, I know Where's... it sounds like a long time, but it really isn't. There we go. Wow, yeah, it is just bad weatherland around you. So where is it? Is that it's it? It's here. We're going to do this. Satyr's Respite. I like the glowing pyramid of easterness. I love the disbelief from our chat about the uh, stake. <laughs> it's not just this chat, though. I, like, I feel like it shouldn't be possible to have anything be pink in the middle of 45 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, I can... When, when, once we re-release this video, I can absolutely put the link in the description and you can watch the yeah, video. It's one of those that's like, I, I don't believe you're lying to me so much as I I don't believe that it should be possible. <laughs> like, I know well, you're not lying, but that so seems insane. It was in a... So Tasty occasionally does these videos where it's um... So Tasty's like, a YouTube channel then? He, uh, they're a big company. They're, I think they're part of BuzzFeed. Um, and anyway, they, they do like one of the videos they did was two minute cookie, two hour cookie and two day cookie. Um, and this steak Screw came from the five day minute day. versus 50 minute versus five hour steak. And we did the 50 minute steak. And that's how you do it. For the record, no cookie is worth Make, taking two days to make the freaking thing. Here's but the thing, no. Karen. We tried the two-day cookie. 
It's so good. I believe you. It's not good enough. <laughs> so, the, oh, hi, bear. Hi, bear. Air chopper! <laughs> Suddenly bears. Suddenly bears. Um, but the reason it You're takes two fight? days... Are the, are the bears that scary? You're not going to fight the bear? I'm not going to fight the bear. Because um, you straight up peaced out. You're like, nope. But uh, the two-day cookie is worth it because all you have to do is make the dough. Same amount of time as like a normal cookie. Wrap it and then wait until the next day, then cook it. And what that does is it lets like all of your, you know, chocolate chips and everything like it, it infuses everything with the flavor and it tastes really good. Huh. Yeah, the problem is I don't plan that far ahead when I do food very well. Um, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I will say I, too, have been into uh, uh, cooking stuff a lot recently. I watched... Mm -hmm. A uh, basics with Babish on brownies, and they did three kinds of brownies. There was your cake brownies, your gooey brownies, and I think molten brownies or whatever. Basically, I found the one that's the style of brownie I liked. They're mm. the most delicious brownies I've ever had in my life. Oh, I know. I did the thing that you told me about with Babish: the uh, noodles and eggs and oh, the 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 uh... bacon. I'll think yeah, of it eventually. <laughs> Let's see what these oh, people have I, I love... Is. You can leave that a meat, nice. meat thermometer in there if you want to. Yeah, not so even going to say I kill him. Here's my. Here's the helmet. Dead. Not even going to... Okay. The full amount is promised. I want double. <laughs> you expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. Oh, I knew he knew! Father, was he? You know way too much! This, Holy this, crap. Oh, you can straight up try to kill him. This light makes him look so much more sinister, too. Right. Alright, everyone. Okay. One. Why did you want Nikolaus dead? Two. How did you know about Nikolaus? Two. And three. I don't care. You deserve to die. You know that that line actually reminds me of talking about uh, Dragon Age stuff recently. Um, at the end of the last DLC, uh, I'm trying not to be spoiler for anyone who is still playing those games because they are long. Um, they are long. There's this thing that's literally like eating away at your life in this one, and you get to talk to the guy who knows everything about it. Mm -hmm. And this is someone you've encountered before, someone you've met, and uh, you have all the pursue information options or there's a literally like when have I ever wanted a long explanation from you just uh, you know <laughs> and then he's okay. just like he literally gives you the the best abridged version short version this happening this happening this will die you'll die if this doesn't happen boom you're fixed but <laughs> and I was like all right I, like like who would respond that way when have I ever wanted answers from you blah 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 no 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 like, long answers all right, and you yeah, both want no, to know. Yeah, it was just like yeah. How did you know about Le Nikolaus? How did you know Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater, all of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You think my life is entertainment? Oh no, my. Friends. I do. Damn right. <laughs> It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Like, I'm literally playing this for entertainment, so yeah, I think your life is very much for entertainment. <laughs> I guess that's really true. Uh, my birth father might live, my mother is still alive. I'm right, not so, so you. one. Just one. You'll have to read them. Oh, one. My mother, my birth father might, might be, might live. Wow. Two, my mother is still alive. And three, I'm not telling you. <laughs> it's great because that's what her face says right now. I'm not telling that's you. That's exactly what it says. Just pouty little four year old. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Me. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, the four year old thing is. Sorry, did you have something you were going to say? 
No. Okay. The four year old thing is great because I've I've I think I've told you this, but I think I've mentioned it on camera. I've been watching through the Dragon Ball Z abridged series from Team Four Star with the, with the Canadian subtitles because that was recommended yeah. to me. And for those who don't know, the Canadian subtitles are the normal English subtitles, except that they've added flavor in some places. And so I was watching through that, and uh, I watched the the Broly movie that they did. Have you seen it, Isaac? I've seen the abridged, but I have not watched it with the Canadian subtitles. And real quick, we will continue with this. But first, they chose My Mother is Still oh, Alive. Choo -choo 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 -choo. She still lives? Not for long, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? You're going to bring me her head. She interrupted him straight up. Are you out of your mind? You killed the man who raised you for a sack of coins. I only assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Ma Why do you Laka, want them dead? You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue. Come at me, guard. So I'll kill you too. Want to go? Oh, really? Really? If you want to go? Let's do this. They have smexy shields, though. Can we take the shield? Can you even use shields? I don't think I can, actually. I don't think shields are part of your equipment set, are they? Meant for that to be back right so you were, you were, yeah, you were, you were a little too far away. Don't go die. Break the Don't shield. you dare die, because you know that, because you know there is a a full on if you die the story continues version, and we don't want that version. Side note: Did you like haste for a minute or something? Because they both just move, or do they both just move slow because they suck? Uh, I did a super dodge, a perfect dodge. Okay. Excuse me, what? where did all of my arrows go? Okay, I'm not blind. That those didn't there were no arrows? Yep. Is there a is there a way to like pull that shield aside and beat on him? I've been trying to do my super attacks, but Well don't those take those yellow bars <clears throat> that you're using to use your arrows? Does perfect dodging recharge them? I feel like that's a thing. I remember it's perfect dodging was There are many things that recharge them. Yeah. Yes, and yes, what Jelena said when he's like, I assume you wanted your whole family dead. Well, I mean, her mother tried to stop it, so why would her, Why would you have a beef with her? Right. I assume you wanted her whole family dead like I did. Like, what did you do it's your like, research? Why do you want my <laughs> family dead? Yeah. That's the bigger like, question. Inquiring minds of the no. So what's your beef with them? Yeah? Oh. No, you were supposed to fall down. Ha! Ah, saved by a tree. These guys are annoyingly beefy, and it's just because of the shields. Yeah, they're not even I block beefy. All damage. They're just annoying. I block all damage like a hoe. You know what you need? You need, like, a hammer with a special ability, Shatter Shield. Right. There's gotta be one, somewhere in the game. Even if the garbage weapon would be worth keeping just for that. Like, boom, your shield's gone. Switch. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah! I don't think I actually finished. So there's a statistic. There we go. When we began that almost two hours ago, um... In that conversation. Oh wait. <laughs> you let him right to me. Oh. Kratos, you are right about the Kefalonian peasant girl. She led me right to the Mythstios. Near the ancient ruins of Cranoi. You did good work tracking them down. Now, to get them both to trust me. Did I ever tell you I was a fan of theater? As for you, find your payment in Phocius, signed L. Elpinor. It could be legit, or it could be a trap, or it could be both. Looking for a woman, right? Probably both. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. Elpinor, in regards to your search for the woman, if anyone would know her whereabouts, it would be that crazy priestess at the Asclepios Sanctuary. <clears throat> I'd go myself, <laughs> but she terrifies me. Your Yours, Antonide. Antonide. He escaped. We young... can't. Is, we can't investigate his spleen. <laughs> He's this gone. Is what? Manifest. Oh. <laughs> 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 
He wants this war to go on forever. I have met He's some one of those. people. Classic war None merchant. Of them compared to Elpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Elpinor is somebody totally... The last ones. Elpinor is Elpinor totally what? a uh, Templar. Oh yeah, you better believe it. Like 100%. Yeah, I remember someone in one of our last... Com uh, last... Let's plays? Streams. Last plays, I guess. Um... Made the uh, comment that we will hate Elpinor at some point. Yeah, I mean, I get it now. He's yeah, I mean, he's like totally that didn't take long. <laughs> Investigate his spleen, indeed. <laughs> that will have to be our, our tagline when we finally get to kill him. Because you know we will. I'm here to investigate uh, your spleen. High. Lodril High, you found the goat. He can't be that much harder to find. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. And uh, I did get my dad's helmet. That? The wolf's oh, Ooh. it's better now. Yeah, eh, yours are probably better for you. Oh, really? Okay. No, because it's it has enough armor, and I like the health, and crit damage is okay. cool. Oh, health. Crit damage and here's is the thing. everything. So yeah, okay. Crit damage is anything that crits. I was my say, headshots crit. So that's that. My my headshots are crits. So. Oh, headshots are always crits. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what it is. Is that they're crits? Is that they're crits? Nice, nice. But yeah, uh, so I I um, learned a statistic recently, uh, according to studies that they have done, uh, when mm. you are firing a weapon and you're in distress like your life is in danger kind of oh, freaking out that levels. forever ago got it <laughs> yeah way back in the beginning because you were it reminded me because you were trying to shoot the guy in the face again and missing yeah um on average the average person when in a life or death situation and trying to fire a weapon um mm. your accuracy is 75 percent less Wait no. Twenty, your your, I think it was twenty five percent less accurate than you are on your best day. It's like if you're really? the kind of person who who goes to a shooting range and does this, and you you put whatever um, rounds into you know you're pretty good, what have you. Uh huh. You you're twenty five percent worse this, if you're panicking. Yeah, if you're in that oh my gosh, someone's in my house and he's coming at me situation. <clears throat> which right. I which I'm feeling when you keep trying to shoot the guy these he's shield charging you. <laughs> right. It's like I can snipe you from like forever away, but when you're here charging at me, it's a little different. He's in my face, so who's this leader guy? The uh, grayed out crown right next to oh, you on your left. Uh undiscovered leader. It's because good. this okay. is Fokios. Fokis? Focus. Focus. But it belongs to Sparta, Sa and I haven't decided. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Sacred land of the snake. Valley. Uh, I think it's Valley of the Snake. Go to the right. Sacred lands of Apollo. Ooh. Down, 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 down. There. Valley of the snakes. You were mixing sacred Go left lands, a little bit. Sacred lands with Valley of. Oh, okay. Because it, it just kept sw switching fast enough that I thought it was okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, but I should still look at the I next like, quest. I said between all of these snake references that have been made recently, it's like that's uh, that's a thing. Well, all right, so then we should bring up real quick. It has been about <laughs> yeah, that's all the snake references. Your your stepdad said beware the snakes in the grass. Uh, the captain said, ah, oh, let's go speak to that snake. Um, snake, 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 snake. And then I saw Valley of Snakes. I'm like, is he going to be in the Valley of Snakes? Anyway. Um, so we've been streaming for about two hours. Do you guys want to go for another hour? Would you like to continue, or should we stop? Yeah. Let us know, Lord and Jeleneth. What is this, though? Hi. Who are you? You have a symbol above you your head. find out what's going on here. Answer. Here, friend. Oh. Anything a mercenary can do for you? You. You say La Botia Drestia with Varnavas. How do you know this? You know that. I once stood alongside him until a filthy pirate ran his blade through my back. 
Now I Ow. can barely stand straight. I was replaced by you. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Also, are you guys are responding. Uh, one. one. Sorry to hear that. Or two. <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> not a problem anymore. Shout out to Simply Nail Logic. Not, uh, ah. But yeah, I've been I I've been on a cooking thing recently, so I've been watching lots of different cooking things. I watched one yesterday. There's a channel called You Suck at Cooking, and I've only watched this one video. And the recipe was fine, don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. But what makes the video amazing was the guy's presentation. This video is hilarious. It was a video for cauliflower mac and cheese. Um, and, and it's not one. hugely inspired. It's basically, you just make a good cheese sauce and use cauliflower instead of ma instead of macaroni. The um, worst yeah. part is, I always dreamt of selling with my son. Uh, but with my back, I can't even collect enough wood to build a feluca for you. So you want me to give you some drachmi? Yes. Any drachmi you can give helps. Hmm... Do we, one, give him the drachmi, or two, say not a chance? Going till nine? Okay. So that'd be another hour. All right. Yep. That's fine with me. Like, even and if it's just the two of you, I'm I'm having fun, and uh, yeah. that's the biggest reason to do this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying, and he's enjoying, then enjoying is good. Um, but yeah, it, and it was, it was fine. It actually sounds good. I might try it at some point, but you know, just make a oh, cheese yeah, sauce uh, that you like for mac and cheese basically, and then put it on top of cauliflower. Yeah, no, um, cal uh, cauliflower mac and cheese is actually really good. And, and like Laudrill High said here, cheese collie is a classic English dish. dish. Oh, I did not know this. Here you go. Did they you know? picked me to give the money, so I did. That's the whole quest. There was this one. Here. Hello. Is there something you need? A crate of good wine was lost at and sea. Sent this kind of thing. sank a merchant ship. I need that one oh. for tonight's banquet. You can probably still get it back. If you don't mind getting wet. Only someone truly brave would wade into those waters now. The pirates are still nearby. And I've heard the rumors of a shark spotted close to the port. Sounds like I need mm, to sink some sharks. pirate ships. By the gods, you read my m I pushed no button. And since uh, this is straight up just get a just, get a quest, I'm just gonna I'm grab that. Take a job. quest, we'll take it. I mean your debt. May the gods guide you. Well one of one of the people watching Jonathan is me. I don't know. Isaac, are you watching right now? Uh I mean I'm only watching with the uh Um Okay, so there's one other person out there. <laughs> There might be one um, other person, or maybe they are counting mine. I don't know. I don't think Sarah's watching. You're not watching anymore, right? I don't. I don't think it counts if you're watching yeah. through the uh, control room. I don't think that counts. I could yeah, be wrong I don't though. Think so. Sorry for my moment of panic there. My my microphone literally literally collapsed on top of me. I had to fix it. <clears throat> oh, I guess I, I should so check the key. I have a key. So what is the blue thing? It is apparently it's a shop. White Coast of the Olympians. Okay, it sounds cool enough. We're just gonna have a look at it real quick, and then we'll move yeah, on. Yeah, it's to, a shop. You know, like, yeah, let's check things. that out. But yeah, while he's here, uh, should we pursue a uh, main storyline, or should we pursue these side quests? Well, here. So let's do Let this. Us. Let's do one. Can you not? Uh, <laughs> one consulting a ghost. Two. Snake in the grass, or three, uh, insert random uh, side quest here. Okay. Well, that could have hurt. That was just, just barely deep enough to let that work. <laughs> just barely. Ooh, this is a fancy oh. shop. I mean, he's Oikos of the Olympians. It best Welcome, be fancy. My, friend. my name is Sargon. Curator of mythical and extraordinary antiquities. I have everything your heart could desire and more. For a price, of course. 
How exciting! <laughs> I guess we leave this to them, though. One, sounds like nonsense. Two, how exciting! <laughs> how exciting! I like the way you say that. How exciting! I'm so excited! So, I've been breeding <laughs> in Pokemon. Uh, oh, wait, wait, real quick. We just, just finished the Cauliflower story. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. It was so funny... I showed it to Dad. And for those of you who aren't us, Dad hates cauliflower. Like, with yeah, a passion. He, he cannot stand that stuff. And I told him, like, I know you won't care about it's the recipe, insane. but you have to watch this video. It's freaking hilarious. He watched it, and he was he thought it was super funny. So, like, that's how good this guy. His presentation was no, that's tr- if, phenomenal. If he, can, if he can make our dad even remotely interested in something involving cauliflower, that's impressive. Yeah. Our dad hates cauliflower. I don't know if all of his videos are like that, but that one at least is like, this is the funniest thing I've seen in weeks. No. So sorry, you were saying. Uh, he's just saying, you know, oh, he, he has uh, antiquities. Rare antiquities. Yes, he, he sells stuff. <laughs> so I've been... Uh, Breeding in Pokemon and uh, trying to get a perfect Alolan Vulpix, so that's a Ice Vulpix. And it has been such a butt to me and has refused with every fiber of its being to give me a perfect uh, with the right attribute. So I have <laughs> okay. about six boxes, and there are 30 Pokemon per box. I have six boxes full of these Alolan Vulpixes that are nigh perfect. Not quite perfect. <laughs> I have three. I have three that are perfect, but they have the wrong ability. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Okay. So, in in Pokemon, as of uh, black and white, there are hidden abilities and the abilities that they usually have. The hidden abilities are ones that are rarer, and they don't always transfer down when you breed um with women okay. with females it has an 80 percent chance with males it has a 20 um okay so i'm trying to get one that's perfect with its hidden ability okay. i have three that are perfect all three of them the wrong ability no oh, bummer and it's so frustrating and so now i'm just wonder trading away all of the Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, at least you can do something. Why don't you... Oh, oh. How exciting. I've never oh, met a merchant so proud of his goods. Your items must be impressive. They're the finest <laughs> in all the Greek world. I promise you that. Or may you strike me down. I'm always Why do people to say some that? Drachmi if the price is right. I'm not interested in Drachmi. The only currency I accept oh. is Oricalcum. I've never heard oh, of Oh snap, son! You, you best so he's be having spend some the amazing Calcum, gear. From a time long before our own. It possesses many properties that Sargon finds appealing. That's okay. uh, you made that sound super sketchy. What do you sell? What exactly do you sell? Many things, my friend. Many things. I have weapons, armor, fashionable garments, and accessories for you, your <laughs> fashionable friends, garments, and even your ship. <gasps> my ship. What kind of merchant oh, doesn't ship. take Drachmi? The kind who is interested in rarer and more valuable forms of payment. That won't actually pay for his dinner. <laughs> and where do I get Oricalcum? Tell me where to find Oricalcum. You can find it all over the Greek world if you know where to look. You can also check the message. Did he spell lightning terms. wrong? Sargon is not the only one to deal in Oricalcum. I don't know. Let me what you have. All right. Let's see what you have to offer. Because I know I have quite a bit of or of uh, Oricalcum. Complete daily quests and specific war contracts or bounties to obtain more Oricalcum fragments. Cool. Oh. You can trade against epic or legendary items, or let the gods decide with the Olympian gift. Ha uh-huh. ha Hey. Hey. Ooh. Oh, oh he's straight up a lieutenant. Okay, cool. Eat. It says compare, and yet it's not letting me. 
<laughs> no comparison for you. Entry and not Stergo, bound. your Teleday belt. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, plus 100. Oh, if you get all of the elite, the Abstergo set, you get a plus 100% damage from bows oh. while hitting. Ah, oh, yeah. That sounds nice. How many of but these do I the have? Whole set. Oh, I only have 43. Traveler's uh, boots. Those are actually really Those 2% percent all damage. That's nice. A shiny golden axe. Oh, wow. What's eight adrenaline per gold. crit? You know what? I'm going to do a gift. Just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. Ooh. Oh, heck oh, yeah! You made the proper choice! Yeah, I did. Heck yeah. That, that's got to blow your bow out, bow out of the water, right? It's got to, for sure. Oh, uh, Lodrosai, Lodr wow, I can't talk, I'm sorry, Lod, uh, <laughs> said, said, oh, sorry, wasn't a correction, oh. <laughs> was saying it as an insert special effect, Zeus striking him down as asked. <laughs> very nice, very nice, but yeah, that's one of those that's right up there with, you know, there can't possibly get any worse, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's 100 oh, DPS yeah. better, and its abilities, yeah. Work yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it actually looks um, pretty cool too. It does. Put a nice look to it. Um, but yeah, that, that's one of those that's right up there with like, oh, it can't possibly get any worse. Rain. Like, why do people do that whole "May God strike me" down, whatever setting you're in? "May God strike me down." Blah blah blah. So you realize that to do that, you have to knock out a bear and tame it, right? Who says I have to knock it out? Tame oh. wolves, leopards, lions, that have been knocked out. I'm gonna go beat up a bear then. It says it right on the description. Sting me! <laughs> Lies. Those are not realistic. They would have stung me. They also wouldn't have been hanging out right there. Alright. Okay, um, so. So, back to the quest to, thing. <laughs> off One, to, uh. Consulting the ghost. Two, snake in the grass, or three, another uh, uh, a side quest. Those are your options. Let us know. And while we figure that out, Isaac will uh, go back to his ship. I assume we'll have to take the ship, regardless. Huh. I'm looking. And for or a bear. and or grab this quest. Wanted a bear. Okay. There's not going to be a bear in town. You're going to have to leave town to get a bear. That's why I'm leaving town. Okay, so you just okay. All right, I'm with What's you. What's your problem? Why don't I have fucking problems with the Ooh. oracle for <laughs> one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the oracle. She's you have a crew. Really long way from the free. Had business, and my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. I'd say she's <laughs> testy, but. <laughs> Wow. One it goes back to our conversation earlier today. Right. One, I am a god. Or two, deal with it yourself. Oh, man. I don't believe you can name the animals you tame. Can you? you? I, I doubt it. It seems unlikely. No, you cannot. They feel expendable. And it looks like Lod <laughs> wants us to do side quests. So we're going to do side quests. Do that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'd say the woman was abrasive, but uh, you walked up and said, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> right. Hey, so, what's I the mean, matter with you? She's answering in kind. <clears throat> no, that she's just means she's a uh, she's a Greek from Boston. <laughs> uh, she has that kind of vibe, or at least the stereotype of it, anyway. But yeah, the stereotypical vibe. Oh man. Uh, I'm always against the I am a god option. Always. I know you are. <laughs> We've discussed this already. <laughs> and it's so funny because <clears throat> almost guaranteed they're going to pick it. You think so? I think so. Oh, I'm know. sore. <laughs> Why would I you started... yawn? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I started, uh, Sarah and I started working out last week. 
and um, mm-hmm. this week was our first week doing two days, and okay. I realized because after the first time that we worked out, I was like, eh, you know, um, I wasn't feeling anything. I didn't feel more energetic at all. I just felt lethargic about it. So okay. halfway through our workout yesterday, I was like, oh. I should pump up the amount of times I'm doing. Maybe that'll help because I don't feel tired. Um, okay. Just to be contrary, that's not helpful. All right. <laughs> Sarah, give me a one or a two. Just say one or two. Two. Don't look at the options. But I already did. Oh, you did? Well, I saw it. I know, but you don't see the options. Okay, fine, whatever. You're not helpful. Two. Taryn's saying two. 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 Or deal with if it you yourself. If you want something done, you'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> You're right there. Can't trust the gods or their servants. So who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. <laughs> People get so uppity about that. Wow. All right. It's funny because watch I feel your tongue. Like watch your tongue is down. actually the one that will get a better reaction from her. I I agree but... actually. <laughs> um, All right, one. Watch your tongue, or two. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, I don't know why I had an accent with calm down. So calm down. Calm down. Uh, so I did. I I ended Proto, up doubling. Down. I ended up doubling <laughs> the sets I did. So I did basically two sets of twelve with everything, and. Mm-hmm. I actually felt, like, physically exhausted, but now my triceps are, like, in pain. And it's been almost 20, more than 24 it, hours now. That is literally how it works. Well, and, and that is me, one thing. I, I actually feel it the next day, whereas before that I wasn't feeling it the next day, and I do think that was part of the reason why I felt so meh about it. It's like, I'm not getting any results. Well, yeah, and don't use that as a measuring stick forever, and I'll talk about that in a second, but um, I voted against God last time. I was just outvoted. <laughs> <laughs> the Lod says two. We'll see if Jenna Lineth decides anything. Um, yeah, I've already forgotten what I was saying. Who it is? It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago, and they're nowhere to be found. Mm. Why did you see Why the Oracle? Why did you see the Oracle? So, you sought the Oracle's advice? Her? Pfft, fuck no. <laughs> I'd rather seek counsel in the wind from my ass. Then why did you seek her out? Wow. We got a deal. I suppose no harm in telling you. She lets me know where the pilgrims are coming from. Then I supply the transport for their journey, and we split the fee. So you're trying to tell me the oh, that's actually has nice. fine intuition right? of where the pilgrims will be coming from. <laughs> Fuck no. She asks her believers how full the ports are. Then she tells me. Simple. You know, legitimate oracle or not, that is a brilliant... And honestly, not even sketchy way to make money. I agree. You have business here in Fokis? I got business nah, everywhere. Fokis. Right now, it's where's the It's really, ship? yep, with her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell so me about your ship. Shark's tooth? Yeah. I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. He is so angry. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um, I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and uh, we sort of help out. Oh, your girl. Yeah, best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my yiki, will you? I'll pay. That's a horrible name. I'll find out. I'll find your ship and bring them back. Where should I look? Know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. 
It's more of a hobby. <laughs> a hobby? <laughs> in mutiny and run off on you? Not with my hickey at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. That's the best reason. Describe Yiki. She's yep. beautiful. <clears throat> she is. Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her. These are not helpful descriptions. Right? Not helpful. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> She's raven haired and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. Thank you. That I'll find them and helpful. return as soon as I can. Yeah, I know I was saying something. I legitimately forgot what. So, let's check out the side quest here. Let him know. Yeah, <laughs> you don't remember either. <laughs> nope. All, All right, I remember so, right now is Geeky. Do we go after Geeky, or? Uh, it's the closest one. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Force it up. Yiki and the ship are near the hill of the sacred war in Phokius. They are in the. They are east of Bulis military camp, and they are treasure hunting in the cove. The cove. Uh, what are you talking about? I cannot. I going to bug me for the life of me. Remember, dude. <laughs> we were talking I remember about talking about Pokemon. Talking about. Oh, Pokemon working out. And... Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, that's actually been my experience with uh, when you're working out, quote unquote, properly for me has been that I'll be a little sore the first day, but really it doesn't hit you till day two. Well, that's just it. It didn't hit me at all, yeah. even after, even on day two, until I mean this this most recent this time. second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's a good thing. Um, it's also keep in mind though, remember that that will not always be your um, notifier. Um, because well, if it's once not, you... shouldn't you just bump up your weight or reps? Right. So yeah, when, once once you've reached the point where that's you know that's all that's doing, it will not have that burn and soreness anymore. And so you either are at that point, okay, back off and maintain, or you up the whatever and you know do more. Okay. That was my thought. Um, and I wish I had known that back in junior high, but oh well. What, what happened in junior high? Uh, I was doing workout stuff, and I reached that plateau point and didn't understand that that's how that worked. And I got really frustrated, and so I stopped. So you didn't try, bull you didn't try increasing reps or increasing weight, you just... We're like, no, no it was I'm not getting those, anything out of it. I was all. using one of those uh, like 1980s instructional videos that our parents still had because uh, we had a VCR at the time. Yeah. So I just followed the video and I worked up to the max of the video because it was one of those ad stages. Um, and then it wasn't doing and anything. And then, and at some point, eventually, it stopped doing things because that's how exercise works. But I didn't know that. Um, okay, so they're in the cove. They're on a ship, most likely. <laughs> or they sank. Did they sink? Because that would be funny. There is I a little something right there. Sank. Is it a tiny little boat? Yeah, it is a tiny little boat. I think they might have sank. Sunken? Sunk? Uh, I think sank. I think sank is appropriate in this instance. Ooh. What? That's you are not Sora. That's the shark's tooth, alright. <laughs> What's left of her? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, so that's the shark's oh, oh, man. tooth. Is that ship? Oh. <clears throat> Find Geeky and Captain Gilan's ship, the shark's tooth. And die. die. What the? I swear I saw something in the water. Oh, you did! I did! Good job, Taryn. It's a level 14 shark! I don't even know what to say to that. Sharks have levels. They shouldn't have levels. Why are you so far? Fine, I'll switch to this. It's faster. 
Like you might, I'm like, yo, I want a faster weapon, yeah. Ow. Oh my gosh. And maybe, uh, maybe get on the boat. Get on the little life raft. Ah. Uh, I just need them to come Cause... to me. Oh, let me go, let me go, oh! let me go, let me go. Oh! 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 Rude! Okay, fine, fine, I'll get go up to the boat. boat, I'll go up to the boat. Get on the boat. Ow! And shoot them. <laughs> because, oh my gosh. Bastards. Like, I, I remember learning last time that fighting them in the water was bad, but I figured, oh, it's fine. You know, you've gained experience and power and gear. They're just and so deep. So deep. So deep below. These, these sharks know the ways of the world, man. If you bite a fish in the water, it bleeds. Ah. Well, that That's I didn't mean to release that one. Yes, oh, hey, there's did, a person. Uh, you did, uh... Huh? There's a third person. Hey, hey Belial. Should tag them on surface and then use bow. I oh. literally do what I did only with Icarus instead of, you know, suffering the attacks. You. <laughs> I feel like you're going the wrong. Oh, you're looting the fish. That makes sense. I wanted to loot the sharks. Yeah. This fits the description oh. of Yiki's armband. Oh. Snap. Oh, that sucks. That's sad. Is it bad that I barely care? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> like they're, they're part-time pirates, and the lady you were dealing with is kind of a jackal. <laughs> She was a little rough around the edges, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I still don't approve of it in modern day, but I appreciate the joke, lot. <laughs> Shark fin soup. <laughs> yes! Let's make some stew. Good old sharky stew. Because, uh, I mean, they got enough of your blood. Why not? Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. That one cool? I haven't actually looked at your arms. 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 I mean, I have arms. some pretty cool arms. These are pretty cool. Those are pretty I cool. Meant, I meant gear-wise, but yes, yes. Feel free to make yourself look cool. Hang on, let's let's go full armor armor here. We're doing we're doing full armor. None of this none of this tracker stuff. Nah. There. But okay, I'm like, and do I you apparently... have more armory beltage? I don't know. Nah, this is built on this is armor enough. Um. Oh yeah, you look almost like you're right out of the cover art at this point. Right. I'm actually in. Oh right, the speedboat, like pole boat of cool. doom. Yep. Retrieve the treasure. Treasures. Where's your speed? I just feel like I feel like you had a speed boost button. Probably did. You but just I remember don't remember because you don't remember the ship. Else. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I remember last time is breaking the ship. So. That did happen, yes. Oh, hang on, is there anyone actually here? Oh, there yes. are people. There's also one closer to the gate. Yep. Oh, the big one. Alright. Now here's the real question. Yeah, something over there. Nice. Can you assassinate them actual assassin style? <laughs> or will you just go in guns blazing? I will. I'm going to do this one properly this time. I promise. Wow, <laughs> oh, there's a war going on. There yeah, probably is always a war going on. Come to think of it, never mind. I love this perfectly. Let's. I love this piece of wall, specifically designed to allow enemies inside of the camp. Hang on. Is this? Oh man, this is a Spartan thing, though. I don't. Ah, who cares? Okay. You can always go against them and do things against the people who are going against them later. You could also, I guess, not burn the war asset. 
Well, that sucks. Yeah. How powerful? Straight up possess. Hey, that, that's a untip. What? I said you were not powerful enough to straight up assassinate the guy. That's a new concept. Yeah, that's that is a thing. I mean, I knew it was a thing for like bosses. I didn't think it was a thing for mooks. Yeah, if they're high enough level. But obviously, you won't. You won't. Oh, oh, you freed a thing. Yes, I did. Let's see what he attacks. Okay, okay, yeah. And who knows? If they stun it, maybe you can make it your friend. They're not gonna stun it, they're gonna kill it. I know, but I mean, you never, you never know. Oh, cool. He, he left him alone, he's attacking me, so let's do this. He's gonna be mine so we, now. That is not a blunt weapon. Yeah, it is. Oh, you're going after the face. Sorry, I thought you grabbed the axe. I didn't realize you just unequipped the axe. I just unequipped the axe, that's all. Oh, what the was that? That would be the new missionary that was just discovered. You cool you killed my cat. You killed the link. That's be very my sad. Cat, at least. Huh? I said you're gonna you, you killed the thing that was gonna be my cat anyway. Alright. Oh, ow. Oh man. Oh, so he throws fire bombs. That's a. Uh, That's a right? thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. To be fair, you did try. You did try to make it. Oh gosh. That, I the tried. Fire, it the just. Was just. Yeah. And spear. Pontius. You think is less pilot. than a pilot? Oh gosh. Oh, Licorice the hunter. The. Oh yeah, Licorice. Yeah. <laughs> licorice. <laughs> licorice the hunter. Oh, that's that's funny. What is the teabag XP glitch? Something that doesn't exist anymore. I'm still curious. I don't know. The the quote unquote XP glitch I used was uh, somebody just wrote a um, quote unquote campaign. That was just fight a bunch of people, and each person was worth a crap ton of experience. Oh, which is a nice little player-made thing. Okay, you know what? Let's make grinding easy, because let's face it, you're going to do it a little bit in this game. Uh, I still died <laughs> multiple times, so it wasn't necessarily easy. Well, right, but it's just like you can go to one spot and just level, sit there, yeah. Forever. Oh, you want to go an art? You want to have an archery off? Hey, Isaac. Yeah. Like, Chorus used to be an adventurer like you, until he took your arrow to the knee. Because <laughs> you shot I think him just right lit in the knee. one of my <laughs> arrows on fire. He did? Yeah, that wasn't, a, that wasn't a fire arrow. That was a lit. That was an arrow that he lit on fire with his oh, attack. That's cool. So if you go up to fire with normal arrows, you can light them on fire? That's freaking awesome. Maybe, yeah. Ow. You are almost on fire, dang it. Yeah, how do you like it? No! <laughs> I love you say no and then do the one attack you had that could arguably be considered helping him put it out. <laughs> no! He's so <laughs> close to dead. Hey, Isaac. Yeah, this is this line. Is, this line is controlled by Spartans. Uh huh. So this is in fact Sparta. <laughs> Kick. Uh. <laughs> I know I'm dumb. I don't even care. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Is that the first one you dodged? I feel like that's the first one you. Dodged. I think that is the first one I've successfully dodged. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised the little the dude found you at one helmet. I was gonna say one step, but that's the wrong. Oh. 
mercenary defeated. There. I won. Uh, Belial says the teabag glitch uh, was back during the second Atlantis chapter. You could basically recruit and crouch on top of people and give you infinite XP. I should tell Yellen about you. Ah. You can get from level 1 to 99 in 3 hours if that's all you do. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I can't imagine something that tedious. That's just... Oh. That's insane! Just... Uh, olive wood. Yoink, and yoink, and yoink, and yoink. Alright. Spartan skins. So will you burn the war supplies? I don't, I don't think I need to. You don't anything you need to? Okay. Nah. I haven't decided who I'm gonna support in this war yet. You. Me. Oh wait, <laughs> hold up. There's a spot in the wall to climb specifically, and then there's also a hole in the wall right next to it. Oh that's funny, you're can right. Can you crouch through that hole? Tell me so you can crouch I, through that hole. I can't really climb oh there we go. You can crouch. Like you through that's how you got way. in. I know, but the roof was in the way. <laughs> that is the least secure camp I've seen in possibly ever. Well, who's building a wall like that? I don't mind the short ones. I get it. You didn't find a long enough stick. Why are there ones that don't touch the ground? See, I do have a problem with the short ones because they're also flat. So you've got taller ones that are all spiked, like proper walls and defenses, and then you've got shorter ones that are also flat on the top. So it's like, oh, look exactly what you're for. Was it flat? Yes! That's why it bugs. They're, she's not climbing over spikes. She's just like, oh, look, flat. It's like I thought they were picket fencing. Oop. Oh, my god. They're flat. You're right. They're flat. It is literally designed to let someone climb in after you, climb into your defenses behind your back. They yep. are flat here. Okay. I thought they were spiked. Nope. Nope, she's not doing the like the climb over barbed wire thing. No, she's just like, oh look, thanks guys. Stab. Thanks for making this way for me in. Yeah. Wow, that's bad. Thank you. Thank you so much. This makes my job so much easier. Stab slash. I'm not here. You seem like not gonna open that chest. Well, I mean, if I am, I'm going to you know find all the people. Bing. Okay. I mean, you could just sneak in, loot the chest, and leave. <laughs> I mean, I could. Hang on. Let me it do is this that first. Spartan way. That's entirely up to you. Do I have a... I don't have any ability points to, to spend. Look at that. Uh, Disappear. Oh. Alright. Kick. Disappear. I love your magic techno vaporization. It's great. Yeah, I don't know how to excuse that without technology, but there we are. I don't think I don't think we know what we did, but I believe that technically that spear is uh, Isu tech. Oh so. yeah, I guess it is. Like, yeah. Oh! And again, they're so brutal! And I keep thinking that water's oil. Um. I mean, some of it might be, I don't know. It just, it all looks the same. Roger High agrees with us. Where's the fun in that? The three hour 1 to 99 deal. Yeah. I get it, maybe for a little or, bit. Or is oh, that nice. to the, few, uh, few just sneaking in? And opening the chest and then leaving. Oh, that's also that would make more sense considering delay. That would make more sense the delay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a horse. Ah, but do I actually have a you're horse? Not, I have a horse. All I can say for sure is you're not, you're not on a horse. You're on a horse. Yeah, I've just learned that looking behind me and then calling the horse makes it faster. I remember you said that, yeah, if you if you're wherever you're not looking, if you turn around he's instantly there. Yeah. So if you're Which running really nice. forward, look <laughs> behind you, summon your horse, suddenly your horse is in front of you and then you just auto mount it even. This feels orchardy. 
This feels very orchardy. Haha, I was right. About? Yes, but I was sneaking, Lod. I'm expert sneaker. Sponsored by sneakers. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag um, not sponsored. And I agree, too. at least two of those people should have spotted you. Namely, the last guy. Alright. Hello? Madam Cassaway, we sorry. have returned with bad news. I found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my hiki? I really don't know how to tell part of the ocean. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. <laughs> <Where are they? laughs> that, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that is the best passage of time <sighs> phrase I think I've ever heard. All right, Belial, I don't know if you uh, joined us for one of our previous ones, but what we do here is we say, uh, one, everyone's dead, two, no, no easy way to say it, and then you, the chat, decide what we say by typing either a one or a two. So, one or two. So, one. One, everyone's dead, or two, no easy way to say it, and just make it last longer, because we're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I like the record that the armor she wears is actually armor. Like, even though it's on her and it's male designed, it's still got that bulky armor look to it, which is great. Right. I approve of that. No sexist armor here. I remember that was some people's complaints about uh, Captain Phasma in Star Wars. It's like, I can't tell she's a woman. It's like, oh, yeah, she's yeah, in full there's... star. She's in full. Stormtrooper armor. Yeah, it's like full battle armor. And that was what people came back with. It's like, yeah, because it's armor. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like we have a Strategic. vote for Everyone's Dead. They're dead, all right? And your ship's gone, too. Oh, my Yiki. All I found is her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. Captain Jack Sparrow would disagree with you. Ah, uh, do we want her? All right, everyone. Are you going to force us to have her on my ship, or are we leaving? One, join me on my ship. Two, I'll be on my way. I mean, she could be useful. She has, you know, she experience and whatnot, and I'm sure her piracy will be useful. But I also, on the other hand, it's like, but well, she's an ex-captain, and I don't want her to try to make things a mutiny. I, I'm sure that can't happen. It won't I feel happen like with our, everyone our else on the ship. Yeah, our, our one-eyed old guy and shut that down real quick. Like, uh, uh, I'll kick you right off my boat. Right. It's a ship. I will kick you off. <laughs> I will call my boat whatever I want to call my boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two that out of three is... are saying yeah. one, so that wins. I cannot join my on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. To be clear, you will not have your own ship. I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where is your boat? Ship? I'll it's stab called you. Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain. My boat is still floating, so you can screw yourself. <laughs> right? But let's yeah, check people out really these couple of about... new people we've gotten. Or that? I said, let's check out these couple of new people. Got uh, we've oh, hey, you got it. So you can have you can have up to three. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, Bayek and Aya. Yep. Snapson. I've I may have done some upgrading off screen. You know, just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, uh, I don't have enough wood for that. Unfortunately, that sucks. Uh, it... This is the first okay. time time we're playing through. But it is the third episode that we have played. I don't play this through the story, at least off on off screen. He does side stuff so they can handle story for you guys. But yeah, Lexinos the quick tongued. I uh. Don't get me wrong, he's cool, but I don't think he's as cool as any of my legendaries. Which, admittedly, I got through, you know, playing the other games and paying my Ubisoft coins. 
Um, yes. But I don't care. And she's just crap. Ooh, ah, oh, she's better than the armor. <laughs> she is better. Hey, you know what? If you don't have legendary dudes, I mean, decent. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> didn't I get? I got a different crew, didn't I? My gosh. Do I want barbarians or just majays? The majays. Uh, I, I don't know. Apparently, we're going to make meet someone named Testicles. I'm amused by the name. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, That's right. I need a new quest. Is there anything close by to do? We have about ten minutes left. I know. Um, see where this is. If there's nothing close, you could always search the wilderness for a bear. <laughs> We're just gonna oh, go here. You could just teleport to that, though. Yeah. Boom. What? Testicles. Enemies, car enemies carrying very large shields require a charged heavy attack or a Sparta kick to break their guard. Good to know. I thought I was doing a charged heavy attack, but apparently not. Ah. Mercenaries emerged during the Peloponnesian War due to. <laughs> due to social tensions and poverty. So, Famously, they were Cretan archers and Thracian light soldiers looking for work. I'm going to say Cretan. Cretan? Maybe it's they're Cretans. Could be. You Maybe that's cretin. where that term comes from. It's very possible, actually. That is, that is a thing that happens. Oh, I love Monty Python. Testicles is not a very the, Monty Python kind of name. And not just their, you know, popular stuff, like the the Holy Grail, okay? I like all of that. Quit I was, however, introduced with um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> Get your hipster voice out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should totally, like, slide down the, the carpet thing. That would have been great. I don't think you can. No, you can't. That's what I was saying. She just goes straight to the wall. Like, oh, missed opportunity for visual awesomeness. Even if it's only once. It's a lot of snakes on that statue. Like, ah! He's blind. Help an old man buy his next meal. Everything about this guy oh, wow. squeezes me out. One, you seem kind. Two. You, you seem, seem kind. kind two. two. Two, the number. I'm not kind. Three. Fine, here's some drachme. And four, I don't have enough drachme. Yeah, everything about that guy screams bad news to me. The dark everything. robes, the blindness, that's going to sound really bad, but something about his whole demeanor on top of the blindness just it doesn't you're sell horrible. it to be good things. I'm what? Uh, you're horrible. I did, yeah. I mean, I am a monster, it's true. But that's not related. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm looking at him and going, uh, yeah. You skis me out because you're blind. It's not the blind, just the blind. If he was just a blind dude in normal clothes, it's fine. But he's also in, like, dark villain robes, kneeling They're in front of a clothes. thing that is a statue covered in snakes. And again, this clothes. lighting, these fires, makes everyone look sinister. But oh, what, well, what were you I saying? Be the only one who votes. That's right. Oh. I'm not kind. Oh wait. Yep. All right. Yep. We're waiting on Lod. You are the decider. Will you be the tiebreaker, or just pick a different one? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, you I mean, something. that's true. Ticking off the blind guy definitely does tend not to go well in mythology. <laughs> this is true. Very true. All right, Lod might not be here. Oh, it's true. So I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, overrule. Yeah. You, can, you can ask Sarah, too. One or two. Sarah, one or two. 
One. Sarah says one. Your soul also seems kind. I am grateful yeah. and humbled, stranger. Tell me. Also, Artax Xerxes sounds like a scary name. <laughs> right. If I'm being honest. <laughs> one. I am Cassandra. <laughs> Two. Depends. Three. The messenger of Zeus. Sometimes the god itself. <laughs> Depends <laughs> on who I'm talking to. No, no, no. Remember that was Hermes. I'm always right, the messenger know, of Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I guess you could totally be like he's even talking to Joe Angry Chick. I am a god. Could you could you could say you're Hermes? That that would fit. And that's really freaking funny. I like this. All right, uh, we actually anytime have Cassandra a vote pretends from Sarah. to be a god, it's going to be Hermes. So, <laughs> so Sarah says three. Belial says two. We'll wait on one more. We'll wait on one more. Come on, <laughs> Jeleneth. Whoa. <laughs> so much yawning, Terran. being noxious. What was that? So much yawning, Terran. And we're gonna go ahead and go with two because Sarah's a tiebreaker yep. and no one else said anything. Depends on who's asking. But my name is Cassandra. And you are just a simple <laughs> Depends on who's asking, but it's this. I sailed from right? Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry. And I will. Then what? Be my eyes. That name sounds familiar. I, boy, I, I know, you right? Told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go uh... see places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? Or did you ask I mean, the right I person? Guess. <laughs> I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. Art Artax what Xerxes. Did you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus and Athena. That's the name. The Acrocorinth. Of the A bird car in yeah. And of course, I can't even say that. Mount Daietos. Belial sounds like he's unhappy with the result of his choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, we told her his name anyway. <laughs> Where is the statue of Zeus? So, tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great boat stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Ah. Yeah, so okay, I so told. I know that one. Seen that. I saw I the, statue of, the, statue of the statue of Zeus. The statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? It was it before was the last time I. I the statue. Uh, what? I said it was the last time I was on the statue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so one, it's a happy place, or two, Kefalonia is poor but beautiful. And remember that symbol next to number one is it's lying. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yup. Yes, lie, lie, and say it's a happy place, or. Tell two, the truth one, that it's poor lie, say it's a happy place. but beautiful. Or two, Kefalonia is probably beautiful. Which will you say? Is it just me or does Belial always choose what? two? Uh, no. No, he chose one earlier. Oh, wow. Everyone's picking two. Hey. All right. Kefalonia yes, is poor but beautiful. beautiful. Truth is see, the best option. The sea hitting the white beaches and the mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods that, simultaneously bless the land. That tells me truth is the way to go with this guy. <laughs> right? Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you about, <laughs> you about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians know peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived mm. here. 
King Xerxes, Artax Xerxes. Is that his son? I'm pretty sure it's his son, because this is the quest is called Prince of Persia. Ah. So, also, Taryn, you're quiet. Sorry, is this better? <laughs> one, no one would want you dead. Or two, there's a price on your head? Oh yes, Artax Xerxes was the son of Xerxes. Yep. Xerxes being the uh, king of Persia during the Greek-Persia War, right? Polynesian War or whatever? Uh, hold on a second. Peloponnesian War is when? Because it has his reign era. Peloponnesian War, which this game is involved in at some point, is from 431 to 404 BC. And uh, he reigned, Artax Syracuse reigned from 465 to 424. So that, gonna, would be, okay. that would be before this. It would be before the war. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We have a one. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Apparently, there, I know Herodotus is in this game. And apparently, according to Wikipedia, um, it's possible that Artaxerxes was also someone named Artaserus, who Herodotus mentioned as being a um, governor of a province in Bactria. Interesting. Three, two, one. All right. No one would want you dead. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. You don't know this man. Tell me another tale. Right. Then I'll tell you more of my past. Where's there the statue of Athena? There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. Some big old statue above Athens. Got it. Oh, we've seen it. Okay. I'd be glad to know. I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe her to me? One, One. she stands... Go ahead. Go for it. One... She stands guard over Athens. Two, the statue is made out of gold. Two is a lie. Which is a lie. Very much a lie. I, I actually kind of remember that, and it is a solid statue of marble and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, your luck, Lord, he we, second option did not kill him. <laughs> well, I mean, the first option is what we picked, so... <laughs> Oh. Two. <laughs> I love the, the devil eyes there. One for two, one for one. Yes. So what would we get? Lot says one. Sorry, Belial. If Athens is a city of statues, the truth will set you free. Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes. Not just standing tall to protect Athens but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named... Oh, this is the Hidden Blade he stuff. He was a new creed of killers. Oh. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill Oh, me. so wait, we're to talking like... Hired to kill a the first assassins? Man? Why? I have your interest, uh, hold on. Tell another tale, and I will too. I believe, if I recall correctly, technically, Here, let's get to the, the hidden the, ones. Let's get to yeah. the point where we're asking yeah, another. Yeah. yeah. The Acrocorins. Don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. Pleasurable <laughs> trivialities. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I, I love that you've actually all been to all these Corinthia. places. This is fantastic. Uh, I know, right? I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. All right, one, the Hetereteri make Aphrodite proud. 
or two, it's a quiet place, which is a lie. So go ahead, turn. Uh, I be- if I recall correctly, the hidden ones, so your two, two of your three of the tenants, uh, yeah. were the first actual assassins. Uh, but Darius, the guy he's talking about, is actually uh, someone you'll meet in one of the DLCs for this game, and he's the guy that made the hidden blade. Oh, like the first like assassins hidden blade. Yeah, so he he assassinated Xerxes, and he was the original creator of the Assassin's Blade. Um, But the Origins actually takes place after this, so they haven't happened yet. Uh, And (laughs) everybody voted for one. One, 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 one. The spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger... (laughs) I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way. <laughs> you were young, and she did. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you, too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? Artaxes is the third child of Xerxes, sense. according to Wikipedia. I trust you. Okay. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother. Oh, so this is after after his rule then. Yeah, this is after his rule. Now, I'm like, he seemed a little old to be ruling after this. Living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more. But first. Yes, yes. A tale for a tale. All right. Have I seen these last two? <laughs> you did say Mount didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer oh. their own children to the mountain oh. for sacrifice. Oh, that's, jeez. That's not exactly right. Uh, so I have bird? not been there, otherwise it would be there. And where is the what armored do you bird? About this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. I'll be back soon. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. A papyrus says it was written by Themistocles, the Athenian general. A note written by Themistocles. Oh, these are the things he was reading that he told us of, the stories. This papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? So these are stories of Themistocles... These are all the places that you just showed him. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, guys, that was, seems like a great place to end it for tonight. That's a Hope you had a good end. time. Yeah. All right, everyone. You don't see me. I was like, that sounded boorish. Oh, oh. You don't see me. Philoctetes, the ill-fated. The ill-fated. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had a light load here today, but honestly, it was really fun. Thank you all. Um, if you want to see more live streams or any videos at all, let us know what it is you want to see in the comments down below or in the uh, in one of these live streams, what you want to see. And in the meantime, this has been True Masters and Morons. True Masters and Morons. Signing, signing off. off. Good night. Farewell. Seven in the morning. Oh start? man. Ah, oh, good night. Did you just start it or stop it? I stopped it. It's just working on it. Now it's encoding. Yeah, it should be at least. I don't know. Watching. Hold on. I'm just going to hit stop streaming here. Yeah, no, it, it was it, it is